Hello! What's up? Oh, it's feeding back now. Turn the master a little bit down. Yeah. Skosh. Where? Master. Which one? It says master. Hello! This one? What's up? It says master volume. Oh, it's feeding back now. Turn the master yeah. a little bit down. Yeah. Skosh. Alright. Cool! We're here! We made it! Welcome to the Paranormal Narcast! Fucking A week here on the Narc Tapes Network. What's up, dudes? What's good? How are you guys? What's up out there, you motherfuckers? Who we got in the building? If you're here, say what's up in the chats. I'm gonna say what up. Spank that like button. Let's sell some Mothman pins. What's up, -ers? Um, there we go. So we're here. Um, it's Tuesday night. Paranormal night. We're talking, uh, it's, it's fucking October now, so we're, uh, we're in the season. Uh, paranormal. Is this, this tis the season for this sort of shit. Yes, uh, can we see the chats on the monitor, please? We see the artist and programmer uh, meme once again. Um, what's up, everybody? Nartapes Network, uh, Paranormal Nardcast. got a special episode for you guys today. Um, we're going to have our special guest uh, Skyping in from the Pacific Northwest. We have a, mem a volunteer member of the Pacific Northwest chapter of the TAPS, Atlantic Paranormal Soci Society. He, uh, our friend Duffy also played, uh, plays in the band Love Cop, the uh, NAR tapes band, for a long time. They've done like five tapes on NAR. And he's, yeah. he's, what? I don't know, oh. it was not fun. Uh, uh, we're going to have him talking about some of his, his experiences, uh, investigating paranormal stuff, and, um, and uh, just some of the other experiences he's had, and uh, I haven't talked to you guys. Damn, it looks bomb on Twitch. You look good on Twitch. Does it? Yeah, look at it. Nice. So much better. Cool. Well, hell yeah, we got uh, we got uh, some people watching. We got yep. four watching on YouTube. I'll make this more comfortable. A couple on Twitch. Icon JT. Well, well, well. Good to see you back. Um, Icon, how are you doing today? Um, everyone on Twitch, what's up? Say what's up in the chats. We like to shout each other out. We like to uh, make this a very fun, interactive show. So uh, say what's up. What's up, Sim Maniac? Good to see ya. Um, let's get this shit popping on Twitch. Fucking share the link. Maybe host it if you're you're into that. Let's get some more people here. Let's have some more fun today. Um, and this show, we talk about all things paranormal: ghosts, ghouls, goblins. Um, Mythical creatures, um, UFOs, crazy unexplained phenomena. That is what this whole show is about. Huh, girlfriend? And so we're here to discuss um, all sorts of shit. So um, thank you for joining us. We do have our friend, uh, like Ricky was saying, Duffy. He's in the chats right there. Duffy says, what's up? Um, who was a, uh, a member um, of TAPS Portland and has done some actual paranormal research at, um, at alleged, alleged uh, haunted places in Portland, uh, Oregon. So it's going to be cool. We're going to get him on the horn. We're going to have him video call in, and uh, we'll get him here in a little bit. Icon JT says, aliens, yeah. We're going uh, to do some ghost talk. We're going to do some aliens talk. Um, I believe Duffy has a lot of shit to talk about, and I believe he also has some fun videos um, to show. Duffy is the type that it, it, he loves. I know he loves the YouTube. I know you'd be up there in the uh, the YouTube K-holes just going in, Duffy. So yeah. I'm excited uh, to see what you got to share with us. And um, Show us what you got. So there you go. Ugh. How's everyone doing tonight? Who's who's here? Who's here in... Uh. Oh my God! That tugboat. Duffy says I got mad videos. Hell yeah! We're gonna. I want to get Duffy on here re real quick. I want to. I want to get a sale before we pop Duffy on. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Icon JT says, "Oh, Ricky, you changed out of your short shorts." Yeah. It's Who's that? On the on the Twitch. Oh, what up, Twitch? On the Twitch. What up? If you're watching on Twitch, please uh, consider donating to the Narc Tapes Network. Uh, we would love to uh, get some sales in there, and once we get our first sale, we'll probably uh, pop Duffy um, onto the screen, and then we'll get we'll get um, the show on the road. And check it out, everybody today who orders uh, something physical off the website will get a free Mouthman enamel pen. See this? 
Look at this. I'll even open one up for you to see what it looks like. So thanks for shopping with us. Open that up. Get this number. Pull this out. And then, look, you got a beautiful Mothman enamel pin. Oops, I dropped that back. See? This thing. When you pop it onto your, your shirt or your lapel, just put it on the... Uh, oh, probably not. Right? And then... Very cool. You just pop it on. And look, now you have your own little Mothman pin. Like the, the paranormal Narcast that you love so much! Oh yeah guys, all you gotta do is go to narctapes.com slash gtg and um, buy some merchandise. Uh, like Ricky was saying, every uh, sale of physical merchandise will uh, receive a free Mothman pin. Yes. Um, this show's signature pin, if you will. And um, yeah, go to narctapes.com slash gtg and let's get some sales and donations rolling in there. Yes, I really want you guys to meet Duffy and uh, and Duffy also, you can also put in a sale too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Dude, you know, Duffy, you're not expected to or I wouldn't even actually expect you to. But if you did, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be again. I wouldn't be I'm going to say you should buy us a round of dabs, Duffy. Just for fun. And you should just get something off the website you think looks cool so for, I can send you a free Mothman. For pin. old time's sake, bro. Fuck yeah. Let's get it. Alright, guys. We got five on Twitch. We got seven on YouTube. Who's here? Who's watching on YouTube? Say what's up in the chats. Say what's up. Spank that like button. You gotta spank that like button. Can we... Is the spank the like button going? We got that? Spank the like button! <laughs> Ass spank, spank the like button. Spank the like butt. Duffy says you you guys do have that fire. Yes, yes we do. Um, they got the bomb weed down here, Duffy, and you know this is true, man. You know this is true, man. All right, guys. Spank uh, that like button on the real though. Hit the like. Icon says, went to the Gorillas concert Saturday, smoked a fatty. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Gorillas are awesome. Yeah, I love the Gorillas. Where oh, were they live? I've never seen them live. I lo I lo I've loved them ever since they came out. Yeah, where do they where did they perform? Yeah. Where did where was the show? And was it like a was it a big screen that you they it was a cartoon the whole time? I wonder. They were in Seattle. Cool. That's awesome. P and W, dude. There we go. Spank that like. Um, the Pacific Northwest. Is it safe to assume you are from uh, Seattle then, Icon JT? Because uh, we were all are originally from, well, not originally, but we we're all from Portland, Oregon. Uh, fellow, uh, fellow Pacific Northwesters. He said they performed in front of a huge screen. And he says, yeah, I'm from Seattle. Very nice. cool. <laughs> Very fucking cool. I like that. Spank the like but... Out there, you guys. Yeah, the last time we were in Seattle, <laughs> what, we played at the, uh, what is that thing called? Vera Project. Yeah. Vera Project, I think it's called. It there, right there in the Seattle Center. Um, at the All Ages <laughs> venue. Yeah. Where we had to uh, sneak, sneak our, uh, our boozies. But I remember that there was a, a Dick's very, very close to the Seattle Center right there, so we were able to go to Dick's Burger. Twice. No problem. I know Duffy knows about Dick's Burger. Yes, Duffy, you know this. All right, guys. So we're trying to get a sale so we can get our guest on the on the horn. Uh, <coughs> mm, Dick's Burger, Seattle. Ah! W says I love it. <coughs> he loved it. Oh, I got water. Oh, gross. <coughs> That's nasty. <coughs> not as bad as bomb water. No, not even close, but still. <coughs> oh, <Ooh>. gross. <coughs> oh man, that was fucked up. Yeah, yesterday was the uh, record, the tape release party for Jerry Rogers' new tape. We had it at the store. We had an after party, very very late. It was cool. It was a great show. Um, Jimmy's performance was amazing, and, um, all the bands were sick. Catsman was sick, Ben Catman's Decreaser was sick, um, and then Nekaquam Vacuum. Is that how you say it? Nekaquam 
vacuum yeah. played. And they ripped. They were fucking dope. I fuck with I fuck with just shit. Just Dix is still in the top five, he says, but his favorite is still In-N-Out or Whataburger, though. I don't know. I think Dix is number one. Yeah, Dix is my numero uno. And then number two is Max. Duffy, you have to go to Sweden, and you have to go to Max. You Max will fall Burger. In love, bro. You will fall absolutely 100% it's like, love. It's like Dix. It's kind of like Dix. It's like Dix meets Burgerville. Yeah, totally. It's awesome. But, like, in Sweden. It's, like, totally crazy. It's awesome. Alright, I just had to chug some water. I'm still kind of, uh, my hangover didn't really hit me today, but it kind of is like an under, under, under the whole, whole body kind of hangover thing. I've been, I've been fighting, feeling fucked up all day. Yeah. Um, it's okay. That's how it goes. You know? Yeah, I've definitely feel, I've been feeling weird all day. Not in a bad way. But, um. Isaac on the chat. He says, someone buy some merch and let's get Duffy in here. I mean, Duffy's in here, but, uh, you know. We want to get him, uh. We want to get him on the screen, on the, on the screen. big screen. Um, you can go to narttapes.com, y'all. Narttapes.com slash GTG. And, uh, all the merchandise is pretty much right there. Is that a sound? No. Yeah. I was really, hoping, I was really, really stoked. Mwah. I love cookout too, says Duffy. Oh, okay. Is that a place? Yeah, Cookout. It's supposed to be really good. Where's that? I'm pretty, well, what where's is, Cookout? What is that? I've never heard of Cookout. It's in Texas or something. Ah. It's supposed to be real good. Hmm. I trust Duffy. I, I trust the love cop combo of fast food um, delicacies. They know. P. Terry's is tight. P. Terry's. You ever been to P. Terry's, Duffy? P. Terry's is dank. Oh, I thought that was going to be a sale. It's not. It's just Twitter. He said I had it in Nashville. Cookout in Nashville, huh? Very cool. Beautiful, man. Well, I'm trying to get Duffy up on the, uh, yeah. the screen here. We've got four likes, seven watching. Smash that like if you haven't Smash that yet. like button. He said you drove to Gresham two, to two days ago for Dell. Yeah, I saw, you, I saw that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had a double Dell, huh? That double Dell is bomb. I fuck with that double Dell. If y'all have the opportunity to go to Del Taco, Del Taco might be like, Del Taco is my favorite fast food chain. Del Taco's the best. I yeah. think it's number one to me. Del? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the number one. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's the best one. Yeah, that's the best. But the best burger, I think, is Dick's Burger. Yeah. And I like their French fries. Yeah, and their tartar sauce. And check, their check. tartar sauce and their chopped onions. Gotta put in the gotta put that scorcho. The scorcho is the delicious. Yeah. Oh, on the double dell. That's cool. Best nice. menu in all. That's a good of, way to do uh, that. All of fast food. Interesting. I like that. Um. Well, shit. You know, we haven't got any sales yet. I'm, I'm just gonna say fuck it. Let's get Duffy on here. All right. Maybe we'll hopefully get some more sales while he's on here. Yeah. Maybe uh, we'll get more watching once he uh, once he starts talking yeah. about his uh, his taps. Right, so uh, taps experience. we're gonna get Duffy on the screen here now. So we just need all right, you Duffy. To, uh, um, Google Hangouts with us. Cool. So Duffy uh, lives in Portland, Oregon. Um, where St. John's, St. John's neighborhood now, I think. <laughs> or might, you moved, right? Might be somewhere else. That's now, right. Yeah. I think you did. They did move. And um, we're gonna get him um, connected, and we're gonna put him on, and we're gonna talk about ghosts, ghosts, ghoulish. Yeah, ghoulish he's, he's apparition. How do I get in here? He just he's got a call on the. Uh, I did, and I was trying to get them to sort it out. Uh, Woodstock now, cool. That, that neighborhood is chill. Hell yeah, Woodstock's tight. Yeah, I mean. Oh wait, are you talking to us, Funko? I can't hear you. Yeah. Really? I mean, oh, Funko. Can you? You guys couldn't hear me this whole yes, time? Yes, yes. Yeah, not this whole time. Oh. My bad. We turned down the thing because it was feeding back. But it's good. I think it's good now. Okay. Um, well, no, I was just talking to Duffy. Um, he just needs a Google Hangouts with us. Cool. Just uh, let us know when you're ready. Wow. I was wondering why Fungo hadn't said anything. <laughs> I was like, he's kind of quiet tonight. Duffy says, I can hear Fungo. Yeah, we had the monitors in the, in the studio turned down because it was feeding back a little, and I think we turned it down a bit too low. And so Obviously. we weren't able to hear Uncle Bungle, but we can now, and it's all good. It's all great. 
Um, we're getting connected to our uh, our good friend Duffy, Wrong Island, um, out there in the Pacific Northwest, Squatch Country, and um, he's gonna talk about some fun stuff. Yes, Mr. Duff. Hell yeah, guys! We got a watching on YouTube. Hit that like, spank, spank that, that like, like button. guys, spank the like button. There you go. Sounded like someone spanked it. No, that's when I pressed the button. Oh, okay. Somebody did spank it, though. Yeah. But that's not why the sound was made. Yeah. There right. we go. Very All good. right, we're getting Duffy up in here. Duffy, an old friend of ours, musician, uh, been around since towards the very beginning of NAR, was one of the early NAR musician bands. Love Cop, he was also in a NAR band called Girlfriend. Um... And, uh, which I sold one of those on Discogs not too long ago. My girlfriend tape. Hmm. Girlfriend. Everybody. Oh, y'all. No, That's you. Baby. You're the dog. It's like you. Come here. And, uh, he's also a, uh, lover of the paranormal and an investigator in his own right. So we're going to get Duffy up in here uh, as soon as, uh, it's going down. And, uh. Oh, All right, Duffy. I sent you an 1363 invite. from Twitch. Nice. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Who is that? Let me check it out. I wonder why. 1363 from Twitch. That's what it says on PayPal. But we uh, we got a sale from a Joseph P. Thank you, bud. You got the Memories Heartstroke Brush t-shirt. Nice. Hell yeah. So we did That's unlock funny, Lucky. Though, that Heartstroke Brush shirt has been getting a lot of random sales recently. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful shirt. Hell yeah, Icon. Thank you so much. That fucking rips, dude. And uh, like we nice, were saying, thanks, uh, Icon. what we were saying earlier is that everyone that buys uh, physical merchandise, uh, like a shirt, a cassette tape, or a record, we're gonna throw in a free Mothman pin. So you, sir or madam, get a free Mothman pin with your shirt. How about that? That's one of the perks of watching the NAR Tapes Network. Um, Duffy says, uh, installing some plug-in, plug-in blocks, sorting this out. Sorry, no problem, Duffy. Yeah, take your time. Yeah, no, we, we're, we're good. Um, so this week we're going to do more of a... Duffy has a bunch of shit he wants to talk about, <laughs> but uh, he he was working with Taps, yeah. and uh, which you know is like, what show was Taps on? Ghost Hunters or some shit like that. Yep. Ghost Hunters, and that's, that's that um, nationwide um, association, society that, that is dedicated to... Go, go. That is dedicated to uh, exploring and investigating paranormal activity. Um, and so Duffy works with this uh, with this company and, or he was, not so much anymore I believe, but um, so he's gonna come in and talk about some EVPs and all sorts of uh, you know apparitions and things that he's seen and things he knows about and things that are, you know, whatever he c he's at liberty to tell us. I know there's a uh, um, you know, a secret, a secretive clause with, uh, with this company. Hey, that's, what was, that's why we ended up having it. There we go. We're good. Just, don't worry about turning it down on that, and I'll, I'll turn it down to send on this. Cool. Very good. Um, and so, yeah, today we're going to have more check, of a, uh, a ghost-centric show. Classic. It's, it's, you know, it's the first episode of October, which is a special, uh, you know, month. It's for Halloween month. I, Halloween is all year for me. I'm a big Halloween head. I love Halloween. I, I take October very seriously. So this is, and ghosts are kind of like, you know, that's like the bread and butter of all paranormal shows. So it's the OG, like scary thing. Yeah. So that's what I'm excited. That we have a, a, a like a, a first guest in this show. Yeah. First guest and not just like a guest, but like someone, old friend. an old friend and, and a reputable, a reputable guest as well, because he does work. He has worked in this field and takes a, Takes an interest in this in this whole paranormal game and a pride in it and pride, yeah. So uh, very excited to have that going on. I had a very interesting conversation there on the phone earlier. You know, talking about you know like all the things that you you know EVPs and all the things people think are EVPs but actually are just like the sound of somebody's digital camera turning on. Yeah. Or somebody in the in the building next door is like. TV on or something like. Yeah. Well, these they use really sensitive condenser mics, I believe. And they probably have the game bumped up all the way up, so you could. He, Duffy was saying, you know, you can you can hear like the car or, or, on the other street over, sometimes, you know. 
Um, but we'll let him get to that. And then on top of all that, I think uh, he has some videos um, that he wants to share. Some, some videos that are hoax videos and some videos that um, he believes are real. Um, and so we're just gonna let him we're gonna let him sort that out when he gets on here. I know he uh, he sent us a bunch of stuff, and it's gonna be fucking sick. Yes. Who else is uh? We've only had Duffy ch chatting up in YouTube. Where's everyone else at in the YouTube? Where are my chatters at? Ouch just says something. I don't see any. Ouch just says what's, what's up, up, my, up my druids? What oh, there you uh, go. Ouches. There we go. Ouches is in the building. I know you like this show, Ouches. It's, oh, yeah. It's always good to see you um, up in the chats, bud. Sounds like that you... Google voice sound coming from my computer? Yeah, Duffy's calling my Gmail. Wrong one. Wrong Gmail, Duffy. Call Funkle. I invited you to, uh, to our yeah. call. Hey, later. Scooby-dooby-doo. Scooby-dooby-doo. Ooh, gray? It's like smoke, baby. Whoa, this one's sick. Yes, it is. It's the gray lighter. Tanyari! 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 Hell yeah, we're getting some people up in here and now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please spank that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, it would do us a huge solid if you guys yes. could share the link with your friends on your yes. social medias, on your feed, your timeline, your favorite meme group, um, your mom's group text message with your sister. Send it all. Send all that. Sh send this link, narttapes.com slash gtg to all those people. And let's get some more... Uh, Let's get some more viewers in here on the YouTube. Uh, W says, can you resend that invite? I think it was in the window I closed. Out just <laughs> says, where, where, where has Mountain Forge been? I don't know, man. Good question. Yeah, where has I'm, all I the Mountain as well. gone? I got a new song service song out. Check the link in my Instagram bio. Oh, you put that up? I sure did. Sick. Nice. I'm all caught up with my uh, personal song services. Nice. nice. Uh, I would love to sell another one. Yes, I would love to sell like four or five. I gotta get caught the fuck up. W says, ha ha, sorry I didn't sell and authorize a bunch of plugins. Now you're good. Uh, Pooba says, sup, Ricky and Isaac and Funko. Yo! What's up? You went, you went with more than just the traditional sup. Very cool. You must be feeling good today. He's uh he's been he's been going for more than the sup lately. Cool. I got a follow from Pooh Butt on the old Instagram. Uh, seeing him pop up in my timeline from time to timeline. Timeline or timeline. The fuck is this? Oh, it's you. Uh, what is Pooh Butt's uh, Instagram? Is it private or? Um, I don't think so. I want to follow you, Pooh Butt. Maybe I do already. I don't remember. It's like. TBH. Um, uh, kick ass 420 sharp, I think is. Oh, yeah. oh shit, Bree baked up in the build, dude. That's what, what up, Bree? That's what up. What up, Bree? All right, so everyone who's just tuning in right now, um, this is the Paranormal Narcast, and we have our best friend, one of our best buds in the um, old old homies, Duffy from Portland, uh, living in Portland right now, and he uh, is a member or was volunteer uh, member of Taps. And he was investigating all sorts of uh, haunted and mysterious activity up there in Portland, Oregon. And we're getting him on the video chat. Um, we're sorting it out right now. But he's going to come on to the show. Um, our first official guest here uh, on, on the Paranormal Narcast. So um, he's having a little patience and we're going to get him on. And he's going to talk about all sorts of things and his experiences um, with investigating paranormal phenomena. Exactly. Brie Bay says, Christina! Um, and then Brie says, guys, guess what? 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 Spank that like button. God damn, I can't remember what I was looking at my phone for. That's a cool tone. Hey. All right, let's hey. see if he answers. Hey. Yo, Duffy. Yo. Is that Duffy? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Hell yeah. Yeah, let me, uh, let me get you on the background of our show, and we'll be ready to go. 
Um, okay, boom. Cool. So we got Duffy connected. Um, yeah. Everyone's saying what's up in the chats. This is nice. Um, Bree says, well, my 1992 Wu-Tang Mobile fucking died Hell on the yeah. Civic. That's it. Why is it a Wu-Tang Mobile? There he is. <laughs> He's right behind you guys. Uh, Ricky, will you scoot a little to your left if you have any room? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Dub, you gotta turn down your, uh, your... You're gonna have to turn down your audio uh, to the stream and then uh, keep keep our voice line up. Yeah. There you go. Can you hear us? Is that a yeah? You got you got us on? Okay. Hell yeah. Can you hear can you hear us on the uh, on the call? I can. Alright, yeah, cool. Some cool, right. yeah, that'll that'll be cooler. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to untangle so all that. <laughs> <Shoot. laughs> Duffy! What's up? He's wearing his taps hat too. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that. That rips. Alright, yeah, um, Bree Bakes says... Maybe we should get the camera a little closer and we should shrink us a little bit. Um, yeah, sure, if you... I'm gonna grab that camera a little bit, I think. Am I in? Yeah, you're in. Cool. Alright, look, I'll let us know how the camera is. Just forward. Alright, to the left. To, to the, the left. Le turn it to the left. Yeah. Okay. It's good? Yeah, I, cool. it's pretty good, I think. All right, uh, Brie Bake says, uh, but I bought a 2006 in Hyundai Accent like a boss. That's tight. Whoa, that's Very tight. Very good. Brie Bake says, I had Wu-Tang stickers on it, so called it the Wu-Tang Mobile. That's nice. tight. All right, hell yeah, Duffy. What's up? Not much, man. How you guys been? Very good. Yeah, you know, working hard. Good to see you, man. You're looking good. Thanks, you too. Looking sharp. How does it sound out there for all the viewers? I uh, Yeah, can you turn Duffy up? I wonder. Yeah, can you can you turn him up for us possibly? Yeah. Yeah, what did Twitch say? Real quiet. Yeah, real quiet. Good now. Very right, cool. Very good. Okay. Um. Cool. Alcha says Duff yeah, looks yeah. like he smokes mad ghosts. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Duffy is a smoker. <laughs> yeah. And midnight toker, if you will. Uh, Brubeck says I feel like an adult now. Car payments and shit. All right, guys. So uh, this is Duffy. You can see him right here. Maybe I'm picking his nose right now or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, this is the homie. That's good, yeah. This is our motherfucking homie from Portland. We smoked a lot of weed with this guy in, oh, our, yeah. in our past. Oh, Among yeah. other things. Did drug. Yeah, I picked your nose. Cool, perfect. I, I nailed it. <laughs> and um, and so I was giving an introduction earlier. Duffy was a volunteer member of TAPS Portland where he was um, investigating with that team over there. And so, you know, we decided, like, shit, why haven't we had him? Why didn't we have him on the show to, at the very beginning? I know, seriously. It was stupid of us to not have uh, reached out to you for this show, but I'm happy it happened, and welcome to the Paranormal Narcast. Thanks. Uh, it was good to yeah. be here. Can you hear me? Yeah, maybe <coughs> if you could be louder. Is there a way to make Duffy louder? Yeah. I can do it. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that's, that's a better. lot better. Cool. <coughs> All right, so uh, hell yeah, Duffy. Um, what's up, dude? I've been sneezing We're... my ass off today. <laughs> Not much, man. Just, Just working, working on tunes, hanging out, you know, reading, cool. researching, researching, planning my next move. Hell yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. I see you. Uh, I see you've been gaming too. You got that sick marijuana PS4 controller. Oh yeah. I'm still modding it. I'm waiting for parts from China. <laughs> sick. Hell yeah. You get that Overwatch? Do you get Overwatch yet? Yeah, yeah, I got it yesterday. The servers were down all morning though, so I couldn't play. They were oh. maintenance. Yeah, it's, it's up now. Hell yeah. We got it. What's your name on PS4? Moon Void. Oh hell yeah, with the, with the, the zeros, zeros and the ones and all that's that. That's your classic, classic, uh, classic Duffy. I was, we're just Nartapes, so you it, and it's, it has, it, we're just G-N-A-R-T-A-P-E-S. It goes to all y'all out there. I'll add you. Oh, yeah. All right, so Duffy, you, uh, you know, we've known you for a long time, you know, through music and stuff, but after we moved down here, one of the things you got into while we got this, you started doing stuff with Taps. You want to tell us a little bit of how you got into that? Yeah, for sure. I was like, you know, sitting around after you guys left. There wasn't really much to do here. So, 
I went out to a, a paranormal convention in Oregon City. Nice. And uh, basically, I, I walked up to a table. They had the big TAPS logo and everything. They were looking for tech people. So I showed, you know, my audio engineering certificate or whatever. And they hired me on the spot. Nice. Nice. <laughs> They did a background check and all that, to be fair, and I had to explain myself a little, but uh, then we were cool, and I, I just went to work for them. Cool, and, and it's probably because you have a sound engineering credential. You, they know you know how to work the mics and, and deal with audio, and so that probably helped factor in to uh, you're joining the team. That's funny to think of like the yeah, that, engineer sound guy for the, for I had the a ton ghost of audio. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the tap sound guy, if you would. <laughs> That's funny. Just, yeah. sound guy for ghosts. They needed somebody with no job, you know, who could listen to like 18 hours worth of audio from, you know, being out there in the field for six hours. You get a lot of tape. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I bet. I'm sure. And then you, you were saying earlier, too, you get mul not just a lot of tape, but you get multiple microphones recording yeah. to different sources. So, you know. Yeah. A, Six hour session could have 18, 24 hours worth of material you'd have to sift through. Maybe exactly. More. Exactly. You put like four recorders out, you go somewhere for six hours, and you got to sit down and listen to all of it, you know? Yeah. That's 24 hours. Exactly. And they only give you like a week tops to turn it all over. So that's a lot of work. Yeah, wow. Hell yeah. So, uh, for, for those who don't know what TAPS is, what, what's TAPS, Duffy? What is, what is this TAPS? The Atlantic Paranormal Society. They are the stars of the uh, Sci-Fi Channel hit series, Ghost Hunters. Yeah, okay. And um, how, they've been around for a while? Yeah, man, they've been around, I think, since like 96 or something. Um, they were like one of the first groups to be taken seriously, you know? Okay. Nice. Have you ever met any of the, the guys in the show? I didn't. Um, I had the chance in Tennessee, and it cost money, and I have tours and stuff, you know, so I didn't really want it. Right. That yeah. was it. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Bree Bake says, I like Duffy. Portland, P. North, North, Portland, North, 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 just says, does Duff believe in ghosts still, or has investigated and made him skeptical? Good question. What was that? They scrambled on my end. Sorry. Does do you do you believe in ghosts still, or has investigating made you skeptical? Uh oh. Something ain't, ain't right. Duffy's having problems. Is our connection a little? I'm weird? going closer to my router. I think that's what it was. There I was outside. Go. Is that better? Yeah. Can yeah. You can cool. you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, now I can. You guys were scrambled there for a okay. sec. Sorry. Okay, so Ouch's Von Doom in the chat says, Does Duff believe in ghosts still, or has investigating made him skeptical? It made me a little more skeptical. So much of it could be explained. It was, like, really surprising. Yeah. Hmm. You know? That you walk sense. into it as a believer, and you want it to be true, especially if you're going to spend all night somewhere, you know? But right. You get home and a lot of it's just like refrigerators or, um, you know, the neighbors or the, they didn't know about this draft or, you know, we have to figure that all out. So we had all kinds of people. We had people that did construction that looked at the carpentry and we had people that were video experts, lighting experts, scientists, you know, they, they had a pretty good team going when I joined. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty quick to debunk if it was bullshit. Yeah, and so would you say that um, the people you work with, or, or what, would, what would you say the ratios of people who believe versus not believing? Like, are there TAPS members that are like, I'm here to debunk this, and that's why I'm investigating? Are there, are there those types of, um, you know, researchers out there? Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of people that specifically didn't believe um, who just wanted to answer the questions. A lot of people in the group were kind of of the opinion that ghosts are some kind of um, thin spot in the space-time continuum. Okay. That uh, perhaps when you're seeing a ghost, they're seeing you yeah. as a ghost. You know, so they're seeing somebody futuristic looking and weird, tiny guy from the Victorian era, and you're both scared. 
<laughs> yeah. Has anybody you know ever seen a ghost masturbating? Huh. I, I did see one once uh, when I was having sex at Narnia. No way. Ghost yeah, sex. in that back room. Um, <laughs> I didn't I didn't say anything to the girl, but it was like a old tiny dude. dude. It was weird. Oh, that's Wait, amazing. like watching you guys or jacking off? I, he was watching us. Whoa. <laughs> it, was, it was cool, I guess. It was weird. What, yeah. what, do you, what, what color was it? What did he look like? It was almost like a, like a force ghost from Star Wars. He was kind of like this grayish blue. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm um, trippy. He, he looked confused. Yeah, he's like, why are you hitting it like that? That's her asshole. Like, it's Probably. like he, he saw a ghost having sex, and he was like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is going on right now? No, but I've, I've definitely heard I've had a ghost experience in that room before. Yeah, from multiple people. And um, yeah. that that was probably you should have brought fucking taps over to Narnia. I would have, but it had been uh, you know uh, sold, I guess, and was oh, being sick. renovated. I would have loved to though. Yeah, yeah. that would have been sick. When I first applied, I was living there, and I was all like, "Yeah, come check out my house," but then it wasn't my house anymore. Yeah, yeah, things happen quick. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's right. That was the that was Narnia. Rest in peace, Narnia. Our old house was haunted as fuck. Yeah, seventy-two hour notice to get out too. So that was real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah wow. damn. Hell yeah. For outrageous conduct. So I think we did well. Yeah. <laughs> outrageous conduct. There you go. I like that. Outrageous. Um. So yeah. Okay. So walk us through like a uh, like when you're gonna go do some work on a house. What well, what. You walk in the door and explain like how you set up and and what's your thought process going into the haunted house. Do you do you um do you have a big conversation with the person there and yeah, well how does that all work? So, okay, so the way it works is one member of the team is kind of in charge. And that might change like investigation to investigation. Um so when we walk in, one person knows everything. Everything that they've told us, uh, this is where it happens, this is the time, this is what we see, this is what we hear, you know. Um, the rest of us were kept in the dark, so it was a blind study. Um, and so we would walk in and just say hello, and then the person who knew what was going on would kind of tell us, like, put a camera here, I want an audio recorder over there, um, cover both sides of this room. Um, and so we'd walk in. And the first thing we'd do is we'd take photographs of every room, 360 degrees. Um, the next thing we would do is set up the mics and the video cameras where we were told to. Um, once we had that all kind of sorted out, it was like lights out. Some instances, they would turn the power out and we, everything would be battery operated. Other times, we'd leave some circuits on or we wouldn't touch the power at all. Um, then we'd set everything up, we'd get it rolling, and we'd leave the room, well, or the house. We'd leave the building if it was an office. And we'd let, out, let it all run for about 45 minutes. Um, then we'd come back, and we'd kind of like stop all the recorders, start them over, and begin investigating. All right. Cool. I see. So, um, yeah, and you're, you're saying about the power and stuff, and that's probably because there's a... A lot of interference with the electricity, and, and I, I, I imagine that sometimes these EVPs are just the circuits uh, running their juice, right? Yeah, like a lot of the time what we would end up with is um, if you walk around with like an EMF detector, stuff like that, you, you're going to like, oh, there's just like a live electrical cable in this wall. Um, so it, some of it is it messes with the equipment. The other side of it is that, you know, things like refrigerator, air compressors, things like that just keep going. They make noise, they turn off and on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of it was to, like, eliminate any kind of interference, and the rest of it was so we could trust our, like, electromagnetic detecting equipment, you I know? I see, yeah, because that will definitely throw those things off. 
Have yeah, you like I, I might not be able to tell you if you have a ghost, but I can tell you that, you know, you've got an electrical cable here in this wall that goes under the floor, huh. you know. The other thing that really screwed with equipment is Wi-Fi. We'd, um, in instances where we didn't shut the power off, we would power down their network wow. because the stuff would just go crazy. Oh, wow. And sometimes you wouldn't know, like you'd be in an office, maybe like this one office we didn't have access to, you know, we keep getting crazy readings by the door. And then we realize like, oh, it's just their Wi-Fi router. <laughs> you know. I wonder if so, like the the Wi-Fi is like uh, has anything to do with you know if, if that's like ghost uh, if it's compatible well, if you know what that's I mean. one of the theories out there is that they use power they use like waves and stuff in the air you know anything they can draw from to manifest so yeah that's that's one of the going theories huh, that's cool can you talk about that do you know much more about 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 that that's really interesting I've never. I mean, I guess that's something that I would just assume and imagine they would do, but I've never like thought, really thought about like, oh yeah, they use the power, like they can use the power to, uh, you know, do their bidding or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, so a lot of the time what you'd find is like, if there was activity, people would start to feel really tired. It seemed like they could even draw it right out of people. I've heard um, this, yes. And so, like, that was always, like, one of the things that we asked in our questions before we went in was, you know, do you suddenly get really drained and tired, fall asleep a lot while this is happening? You know, does it wake you up? Mm -hmm. um, it seems like a lot of the time, too, like, it'll wake you up from sleep. Like, almost like if they're zapping your energy, it'll be like, you know. I see. And, like, they want you to, to, to be awake and know. Or maybe... Your con they want you or maybe they want your conscious energy. A lot of the time, like, uh, I did sign a lot of confidentiality waivers and stuff, so I'm not allowed to talk about necessarily where, but I can say in, like, some instances, like, yeah, like, you know, it's, uh, we'd get an EVP, and the only thing we'd get, we'd ask, ask a dozen questions, and the last thing we'd say is, do you want us to leave? And they would just say yes. <laughs> it was... So some of them don't want to talk. They're, they're not interested in us. Of course. You know, they're doing ghostly things, whatever they are. Or like you're saying, maybe they think you're a ghost and they don't want to talk because it's scary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows, right? Like what they're experiencing. I, I'd love to, to know, but that was kind of it. Like we were going in to try to solve some of that stuff, like try to get an answer. What is this? We didn't necessarily really know what we were dealing with, you know? I don't think it was a demon. We were, we were kind of against that mindset. A lot of people, I think they almost like want to sell you on their service so that they keep having you back. So, you, you know, the paranormal investigators will say, oh, you've got demons. Right. Uh, we never said anything like that, you know? <laughs> demons. That's so funny. Yeah, everything was a demon. Every to every other group, and, and I've gone to all these conventions now to represent the team and stuff. And while well, you're listening to the speakers, man, like nine out of ten of them are trying to tell you it's all demons, you know? yeah. it, like, all of it, like, like, a, like a Christian based, like, hell demon. Yeah, that's you know, I think that, like. Uh, it's hard to, to have people let you into their house from, you know, 10 to 4 a.m. You know, um, so a lot of it was like fear mongering. They would try to get people afraid. Our group didn't do that. We were. Oh, oh. audio. Yeah, we lost you. You're back. Sorry. You're back. Am I back? You're what back. Happened? No, you were just gone for two seconds or so. Oh, cool. Okay. You're good. You're good now. Sorry. I don't know what's up with my internet here. It's a ghost. Yeah, they know. I, that could be it. Yeah, they, they know, know you're talking. They know you're breaching the confidentiality uh, portion of your contract. Ouches von Doom says. Ouches <laughs> von Doom in the chat says, "I have a group question. If you were a ghost, who would you haunt?" And Bree Ooh. says, "What city, town that you've been to have you experienced the wildest paranormal activity?" Hmm. Well, I think that I would haunt. Um, 
a sex house. <laughs> uh, to, <laughs> you take that any way you want to interpret that. And, uh, and uh, the wildest, the town that I've been to, the wildest ghost experience, uh, external activity. Fucking. I guess whenever we went at Tucson. At the Hotel Congress. Oh, the, uh, yeah. It's like you can count on Hotel Congress the, uh, something the, happening. In the room. We stayed in the same room twice, and both times uh, we've seen stuff like float across the table. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, like, Portland, for me, my city and town, like, I just, I lived in a bunch of old-ass houses, and there's always some shit going down. And, yeah. That's true. Oregon. And then... Yeah, we're downtown Portland, Portland for me. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, you got some. Yeah. Uh, you, you got some stories from downtown. I got. Um, I got like touched. Um, we're in a dark room in a basement in a house in Southwest, and uh, you know, it's like an early investigation for me. And you know, you have to tag everything because of the audio recorders. Stuff sounds crazy. Even just like your shoe squeaking can sound like a demon talking backwards when you go back to listen to it. So you tag everything, and uh, all of a sudden something touched me, and I tagged it without really thinking, and then everybody was like, there's nothing near you. <laughs> what did you touch? And I had to like look around and pull my flashlight out, and yeah, there was nothing anywhere near me. So it was kind of like Ghostbusters, you know, like um, I got slimed and Ray's all, yes, that's great. Nice. You know, Freaked me out a little bit just because it felt like an animal, um, like a cat or something brush against my leg. Huh. Oh, whoa. That's creepy. We, we called them phantomals. Uh, is that a common, animals. Is that a common thing you experience? Yeah, I think more often than not, if we did experience any activity, it tended to be like an animal ghost. Right. Honestly, cats, cats and dogs. Huh. That yeah. makes sense. Bizarre. What's, What's up? <laughs> I said that's bizarre. Yeah, that's right? I, I think that most ghost people are kind of antisocial. Yeah. I, can, I, would, I would imagine that. You know, you get used to being a ghost, I guess, and maybe you don't want to deal with people. That makes sense. Whereas a ghost cat, they don't. They are still gonna want pets and. and yeah, I think exactly. They might give you dinner. Or even just to chase you out. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's their house too. Oh, way more than ours. Yeah. Alches von Doom says a sex house. Why did I think about that? I was gonna haunt a lame museum or library. Yeah, man. You just gotta think about sex. I would haunt the fucking Apple Store because I hate the fucking Apple Store, and I'm gonna—I would make them pay for uh, all the bullshit they put people through. No, that they, you'd have to be there. Yeah, but I would be—I would be torturing them. Nah, they probably wouldn't pay attention to you. Mm, they would. They don't pay attention to anything. You'll—you'll see. You'll see. A all haunted right. I, Apple Store. All right, so uh, let's see, uh, Dovey, just uh, start telling us some of the uh, your, some of the uh, uh, more interesting experiences that you've had uh, in, in investigation and beyond. Even if uh, some, of the, some of the better ones don't even have anything to do with taps, just tell us some of your good stories. Well, all right, well, all right. If you guys are you familiar with the idea of um, an intelligent haunting versus like a non-intelligent haunting? Yeah, of course. But maybe explain um, it to our viewers out there, just in case. So the idea is that sometimes you have hauntings where a ghost interacts with you. It says stuff to you. It touches you. It moves your stuff. It tries to scare you. But other times, and this is a little bit more common, what you get is more like a video, like it replays over and over. So when I was growing up, we had, they call this a residual haunting. Yeah. Um, we had a residual haunting at my parents' house where... It was actually my family dog, and it would uh, occasionally at around 3, 4 a.m., you would see it walk through the living room. And this is, I mean, uh, he had been dead for five or six years. 
and we all saw it and we all thought we were crazy or asleep or something and we all started talking about it and we realized that he does the same exact thing he would come through a wall which is kind of weird because he you know never walked through the wall when he was alive but then he would like walk out to the middle of the room and he would turn his head like he was looking and watching something and then he would walk forward again and just disappear and this would happen you know four or five times a year somebody in my family would see it wow crazy so yeah that was like when i was real young that's what got me interested in this stuff you know what the hell is that it's my dog but he doesn't hear me he doesn't respond so it's like a video or um uh, I don't know, maybe it's, it's what happens when you're really attached to a place and people and you pass on, maybe you leave a, an imprint or something, you know? Right. Mm. Interesting. Did you ever see that go that particular ghost when you were, you saw it when you were a kid then? Uh, what, sorry, what was that? that the, the ghost you were talking about, you saw when you were, you saw it when you were way young then, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw him back when I was probably like 11 or 12. And then throughout my life after that, he'd, you know, pop up. My parents still live there. I think my dad saw it two years ago. <laughs> it's the most recent. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, That's crazy. Hell yeah, dude. That is. Uh, then we had a, uh, we had a haunted armoire. We went and got this like armoire at a antique store. And by the way, those are the places that we ended up investigating the most antique stores. They would always have us over. Is, is it because As, furniture um, gets haunt, is haunted a lot? Is that a common thing? Yeah, yeah. They found a lot of the time an object will really be what the, the ghost is, a, is attached to or sure. seems to be lingering around or following. And so, like, for instance, my mom bought this armoire, and we had all this activity around it, and we would have, like, friends over who were afraid of it. Uh, something touched me when I turned my back to your armoire. Um, paintings would fall off the walls. I grew up in a... Uh, we, were, we were pagans, you know, uh, witchcraft and all that. And uh, when we were having, like, ceremonies a few times, I think my... Uh, my great-grandparents got upset, you know, we'd have like a painting fall off a wall or something and disturb the ritual, so to speak. And uh, it's interesting, just they respond to different things, you know, sometimes they're there with you, sometimes it's just like a video, other times they're more like, yo, that's my couch. Get off my couch. <laughs> that's mine. Yeah, yeah, they're all about it. Um, a lot of them really do seem to be most interested in like objects. Um, trying to think of like what else was common. Um, a lot of the time it was furniture, but sometimes it would be something simple like a mirror or um, a hairbrush, you know. Um, I guess the kind of things that people used every day in their lives that now they're dead and someone else has it because it's a cool antique hairbrush, you know, or an old mirror. Mm. I, I can imagine maybe like old knives or like old war, like war uh, memorabilia might have uh, be commonly haunted, you know? Yeah. My dad collected a lot of that stuff and, you know, sometimes we weren't even sure. We would just have weird activity at the house. And once you know you have like one ghost or whatever, you know, you're never really sure if there's more than one or if it's the same one. You and, it know? Op and it opens up the door, perhaps. Maybe. We, we, you know, that's one of the things I wanted to try to learn about when I got involved in the team and everything. It was, you know, mostly looking for answers because I saw a lot of stuff that didn't really make sense. There's got to be something to it, you know, beyond or maybe I'm just crazy. Girlfriend. What was that? The fuck was it? It sounded like a whimpering. Is that you? Is that a dog? Is that you, Funkle? No, it, it sounded like markers to me, but but it wasn't me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Maybe it's a ghost. I was, I was opening my weed jar. Oh, that must have been it. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. Is it like simple, with a cork? What I'm talking about? Yeah. What was that crazy sound? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was you. 
You gotta tag that shit, man. Exactly. So we know. Spittle, I think that uh, I think that uh, Spittle's trying to be a smart ass, trying to like put uh, and think cause Christians or something. And uh, I just want you to know that uh, I think that we're just talking about ideas over here. We're just talking and, uh, about some stuff. And uh, when it, if you want to know what I think about ghosts, I don't think that ghosts is even really a thing. I think that it's more like how when you look out a window, you can see outside. You can also see yourself in the window, kind of when you're looking out the window. And also maybe has something to do with more with like nature mm -hmm. and more with like magnetism and more with like like. All kinds of stuff, and maybe if you've actually been listening to what we've been saying, you wouldn't be asking questions like that. And the, uh, and the, uh, uh, but yeah, I don't believe in an uh, in an afterlife that, that that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into the, so like we we do this show because we we want to know too. There, there's you know there's good evidence that goes for both sides of the case, and uh, it it's just fun to talk about these yeah. sort of things. He says, "I'm not being an asshole. I am and I've always been super interested in the afterlife." Yeah, uh, my thing. I don't really believe in an afterlife. I believe when you die, your con your conscious your consciousness is just gone, and then it's just you're done. Part of the you're part of the universe again. You just become part of it again. There's no more. There's nothing to me. And so with the ghosts and stuff, you know, I'm I'm a little more skeptical. But I've seen some shit in my life that I cannot explain. So, yeah. you know, that's why I still entertain these ideas. One of my favorite ghost stories I've ever heard, too, is Bobby Harlow told me is that when he had, like, crazy, like, uh, like, uh, just, he had, to, he had to, like, bad anxiety, really, really bad. And he had to, like, get into meditation. And one of the craziest things he saw is he lived in the old, old part of Michigan. And he was able to even practice, met, like, sitting up in his bed and looking around his room. And one night he was able to get out, out of his bed, out of himself, walk around his room. And able to walk into the hallway, go down the hall, look at his son in the other room. And then he was going downstairs. And then when he got down there, there was a bunch of old, old, old dudes in old-timey clothes all sitting around down there. And they looked at him like they were seeing a ghost. <laughs> See, and that's where this whole that's where, uh, this uh, back and forth comes from. And you're right, Spittle. I'm sorry. I was giving you two. I'm a little... Uh, a well, little we, we, we have, like, crazy trolls sometimes. And it's, like, it's just hard. Some, sometimes we don't know if people are... No, not, not, not even that. I didn't I didn't even get that vibe so much. I'm just that uh, I'm, a, I'm a little uh, exhausted from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little grumpy. We got you. Good. Thank you for tuning yeah, in, Spittle. Yeah, Appreciate the view. Sorry for yeah for the two. You good? And uh, I mean, you brought up you brought you bring up you brought up a good point. Yeah, it's good, it's good for us to clarify that because it is true. I do want people to know that we are definitely not Christians, and that uh, everything's a spectrum, and uh, and uh, that we're all just entertaining. All ideas are entertained here because uh, it's awesome. a fun, lighthearted program. Yeah. This this you know, there's no holes barred here because. A lot of this is unknown and unexplained, so we can only go off what we believe and what other people believe and they tell us. Yeah. You know? And so it, nothing here can be ever... We don't know if it's fact, yeah. uh, Spittle, so we're just we're not even. We're not even talking about it like... Is it, we're not even going to... We're not trying to talk about facts. We're not, yeah. even, we're not talking about We're only talking about what we know and what we've seen. We're just talking about... We're just... Anything goes. Yeah. Juan says, if demons are so bad, why do they make them look so cool? That is so true. <laughs> they do look sick. I draw them all the time. Like, and uh, I like the really buff ones with huge abs. Uh, Tanya I says, I prefer that when I die, it's just over. Existing is exhausting and a little depressing. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Too, my back won't hurt anymore. And then <laughs> Brie Bake says, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'll be able to sleep, and I want to wake up to piss or to move my position, and I will just sleep forever. I no, not when you're in hell, you sinning piece of oh, garbage. Yeah. Uh, what up, Meta? Good to see you, Meta. Remake says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Meta Disco says, this one time a ghost spooked me something good. <laughs> uh, what, you want to talk about it? Tell the story. Uh, Remake says, Meta. I just found James says, I bet Tom Petty is a ghost. All right, so we got... You, I see, you see James mm. Fifth's uh, no. uh, uh, meme? No. It was posted. It was... Uh, <laughs> It's funny to see. I, I have to read it correctly. Um, it's all about wording with memes. Wording is key. Okay. Whatever that means. Share if you believe that Tom Petty is, is heaven now, playing guitar with Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, Kurt Cobain, David Bowie, Prince, and Jerry Garcia in a completely terrible band that has seven of the guitar players <laughs> nowhere in the section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, it wouldn't be completely terrible. But it also would be kind of like, yeah. what's the point of this band? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. They're all 
ghost guitarist, I guess. But um, Icon JT on Twitch says, uh, "How you, how you feel about extraterrestrials? I think that might be going out to you as well, Duff." Ooh. Oh, that's a whole Dude. thing, man. I mean, we have to have a whole episode about uh, that. Maybe we can do an extraterrestrials episode next time. Yeah, we have, yeah, now yeah. That we're focusing on stuff. Yeah, because uh, even touch the surface. I definitely think something's going on. I believe there's a lot of smoke screens going on as well. I f it's hard to be believe that there's nothing that there's not anyone else. I don't think aliens are aggressive. I also yeah, but we'll we'll, we'll get into that to another episode. But yeah, we'll definitely good question. I Icon JT. We're gonna do we'll secret do space program. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Slick like niggas said, "What up, you guys? What up, Slick? What up, Nixon? We got the homie Duffy on here. I'm an old friend from Portland, and he uh, he's explaining some ghost stories. He used to do work for Taps, um, that that group on Ghost Hunters." Whoa, dude, that's scary as fuck. Did you say Groupon? <laughs> no. But the Discord says, hey, babes, I was laying on my living room sofa and saw a small child of long hair that ran down my stairs and lunged at me. Woo! That would scare the fuck out of me. What the fuck? Elaborate. Oh, hell no. What yeah. kind of clothes were they wearing? That would scare me. Yeah. That would sh I would move yeah. out. I'm a letter. No, thank you, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, baby. I would move out that's straight up. Dude, lunge? Did it? Did it look like it had a like a knife or something, or did it just like go for go for the jugular? I'm I'm curious. I want to know what this is about. This sounds crazy. I feel like uh, like uh, I've heard a couple stories similar to this uh, that are uh, different, but like yeah, I don't like ones where Gus come at you. No. Or like even like when if you can see go them right. like that, that's like a whole that's a whole thing. Like just Dog. even being able to see like. Uh, 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 you know, not just like a, a light or a blur or something like that, but see an actual figure with features. That's that's you know, talking physically or not physically, but trying looking like it's about to approach you and attack you. That's that's too much. That's a bit much there. Well, it seems like uh, things, uh, you know, there there's energies that can interact with your state of consciousness, and uh, I know that things come at me in my subconscious a lot, so. Maybe uh, there was an energy that reacted to something in this person's consciousness, made it look like something was coming at him, but really it was just a, it really was just a wisp. Shut the door. I think maybe they can hear the neighbors over there. Um, Slick. Uh, uh, no, I don't think that, and I definitely uh, I'm not gonna d bring that up on the network tonight. Uh, that kind of stuff. That's more for the uh, conspiracy show on th uh, next show. Thursday. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's more of a conspiracy. conspiracy. Yeah. You should guest on that show too sometime, Duffy. Yeah. Oh cool. man, I got so much on that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was just about to do this. I have a serious question. Do you, this two married ghost hunter? Dudes created a show where they escape their wife and chill with hot chicks at haunted houses alone at night. <laughs> That'd be a great show. Wait, I didn't, I need it's to. It's like uh, the dudes who are in the uh, Ghost Hunter show. It's a show about how how they go and hang out with the hot girls instead of the wives at haunted houses. Meta <laughs> 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 Discord says, We moved out, but it happened when I was 11. I had a narrow hallway that led straight upstairs and split into two bedrooms upstairs. I think it had to do with traumatic energy. My father who died a few uh, weeks earlier. Yo, what's going on with Damn. my audio? There you go. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hell yeah. So, uh, Duffy, do you have any more um, personal ghost stories? Uh, yeah, ghost keep, as stories? many as you got. Yeah, as yeah, many as you got. Any more stories that come to mind? Huh. I'm trying to think of some good ones. I mean, a lot of what we saw, a lot of what we experienced was, like, really casual. They would just say hello. Um, so like nothing too, too spooky, but I had one that was really, really messed up that I've been saving. Um, it was actually in that same house where that animal touched me in the basement, right? But there's no animal there. Uh -huh. um, so they, you know, they didn't tell us much about the place, but apparently the girl who had lived there had committed suicide in one of the rooms. And uh, I listened back to the tape and there's like a half hour of some woman crying. No. You know. Oh, man. No, no way. way. That was it. That was like the whole experience Dude, was just, just really, really crazy. sad. That's like, like 
that's gold, right? Wow, you gave me goosebumps, dude. For you guys, that's like gold. That's what exactly what you're looking for, something like that, right? Yeah, that's why I have to be careful about how much I say about it. But yeah. it was spooky. That one scared me. You can be pretty. Yeah, you can oh be man, like, dude, like, what were you doing? <laughs> like, when you were going through the like footage, like, describe describe the moments leading up to you discovering that on the EVP on the uh, audio. Dude, I was like ready to fall asleep. There's nothing there. Yeah, I'm listening to clocks ticking and like the sink dripping and all the little things that could be going on you know, around this room, around this, it was a bathroom. And they had this big old claw tub, like original tub for this old, old Portland building. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm like ready to fall asleep and then it starts. And then I start thinking like, what is that, the neighbor? For a while, I thought I was just listening to somebody's domestic dispute, like, you know, like through the wall or something in this big apartment building. <laughs> and, uh, you know, eventually you start to realize that, that you were outside. Like, this happened while we weren't in the building. <clears throat> so we were actually all outside. Had this have been the neighbors, I think we would have heard something. Whoa. That's a good point. You, you, you might have heard it standing outside. Mm -hmm. would most definitely hear it standing outside, actually. Well, none of us were bawling and crying and screaming and, you know. Wow. It was spooky. Woo! That's, that's a good one, scary. dude. That's a good one, my wow. dude. That is a good one. But, dude, we didn't hear anything in person. Like, what we were there, it was silent. There was nothing. What kind it of was crying? Just like, 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 like quiet crying or loud crying? <laughs> what was that? What kind of, like, like loud or quiet crying? or? Dude, it sounded like somebody, like, crying to death. Like, Ooh. one of those... It was like scary. Shrill. It sounded like somebody killing themselves, honestly. It was... <clears throat> so when I was done, I like, when this whole segment stopped, I took the headphones off and I was with my girlfriend at the time. And I like turned around and was like, oh, you have to listen to something real quick. And afterwards, the two of us, I think we just went outside and smoked a cigarette. I don't think we spoke for like 10 minutes. It was really sad. Was, I'm pretty sure that was real. That was that, one of the ones wow. I, I believe was real. That is freaky as fuck, dude. And, and it was a digital recorder, recorder, so it wasn't like it could have been like tape bleed and somebody had recorded something on a tape before. Like, this went straight from the audio recorder right into the old uh, laptop that the team had. It was like an Asus one, it was Windows 95, you know, but it was enough uh, to, to double check some audio and, and to at least take the stuff off the cards. And it was free. That's why we had it. Um, and yeah, it was, you know, there was no room for anyone to have tampered with it. You know, no room for anyone to put this on there. It was just spooky and sad. Yeah, it's extremely... I, uh... Sometimes in the, in the bathroom here, I hear crazy shit, but I always assume it's, like, I think it's, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's usually just the neighbors, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's just the neighbors coming out of the vent, but I've heard it's, like, screaming, but I always assume it was the neighbor. Yeah. Huh. Like, coming to the vent. That's like, scary. I yeah. Just, creepy. I, you know. Uh, we got some chats here, while we get these chats, we got some good ones. Yeah, we do. Um... Let's see. Slick Nixon says the movie Ghost is an American classic. Ghost is tight. says it phases down my stairs and ca it came within two feet of me. That's so crazy. That's the one, the little blonde one. Remake says, do you think when you dream of that oh, deceased, wow. it's really them or simply manifestation of your imagination? I don't know. That's that's what we're here to find out. Yeah. Spittle says, I feel like I probably yeah. I feel like he, Spittle says. I feel like, if anything, uh, EVPs, etc., are a result of some type of overlapping dimensions or concentrated energy. Yeah. I'm more into that than, yes. than anything else. Exactly, exactly. D overlapping dimensions. Yep. That is def and then, then That's what we all thought, thought too. too. And, and when, when Most Neil of our team thought, thought that. When you think of the world and the universe with, with these overlapping dimensions, then a lot of things can be explained. Do you know what I mean? Uh... Spittle says, I wish I could wit witness a demon creature. Same, dude. <laughs> Kinda, I guess, actually. 
She looked like Nixa. Demi Moore looking fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was in that yeah, movie, though. Yeah, she looked like Nixa. When I was little, my uncle scared me <laughs> with an Alfred E. Newman mask, and I've been afraid of the dark ever since. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Spittle says, if you can ask any ghost any question, who and what? Oh, shit. But I, I don't know if you... I don't know if you can call a ghost like a who. It's like it's not like I could say like, oh, the ghost of Jimi Hendrix, and then it's and it's Jimi Hendrix that I'm talking to. You know, that's like, kind of a. An well, a, a, all right. I would ask Kurt. Did Courtney do it? There you go. He's like, I don't know, man. I was so jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking hot. Um. How about you? Let's see. I don't know. Good. Think about it for a second. It's a good one. Bree says, I had a friend overdose, but never really knew exactly what happened. Before his wake, he visited me in a dream and put my hand on his heart, and I could feel it beating. Then the following day, I had his... Oh, she's still typing. I was about to do it, but I'm real tired. I'm uh, At his wake, I found out they gave him the adrenaline shot to keep his heart going, but unfortunately, it failed to work. Damn. Ah, sucks. Yeah, crazy, dude. I have a lot of stories like that, you know? I was just asking, if I'm a real tired, I'm moaning in my sleep like a ghost if I'm being real. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I do I do spooky things in my sleep for sure. I, I all all of my like girlfriends or people that I sleep next to, they'll be like Yeah. Funko, well, last night you were going uh, No! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's scary, dude. I think I've heard you do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, are we getting attacked right now? Or, uh, Spittle Sales will like in AHS ghost terms. Remake says, wake up, I found... Oh, yeah. He says, so, so I feel like it was him trying to tell me he's okay. Yeah, you never know that stuff, man. See, I guess it's like in your heart, how you feel. You yeah, know. it's hard It's hard to tell. When, uh... When uh, my little brother died, uh, he was, like, laying in the hospital, and I was at work, and I came late, and there was already the priest, my family, my stepdad's family's priest was, like, saying shit, and I was like, whoa, it's going down, but he was still alive, <clears throat> but then we all took turns, like, whispering something in his ear and telling him things, and then after we were all done, he had, like, a crazy, like, convulsion thing, and then, uh... And, and uh, his whole body got covered in this like crazy rash for like a minute, one minute, and then it was all gone, and then he stopped convulsing, and his brain dead. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. It was gone. Insane. Like after we all day, as he has talked to him after that, as we say goodbye, he was gone. Crazy. Yeah, it was weird, man. That's one of that's probably the weirdest thing I've ever experienced like that. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Trippy one. So yeah, um, that's nuts, dude. What, uh, what? So I mean, you can't talk too much about going back. Going back to your story, Duffy. Uh, you can't talk. Mm-hmm. You can't talk too much about specifics. But uh, can you talk about what the uh, people who asked the investigation uh, reacted when you showed them that footage? You know, um, so the woman who who uh, was like the client, you know, the one who had called us in, she was pretty much just like, yeah, okay, that's what I thought was going on in there. That was her reaction. I guess she knew the history of the place and all the the details that were known. It was an old story, something about a a young girl uh, underage, impregnated uh, guy goes to fight in World War One, never comes home. Girl was pregnant. You know, now she's basically a complete social outcast. It's old times. Having a baby at 17 wasn't okay, especially if you weren't married, you know. And uh, I think something happened and the baby died after that, and then she killed herself in the bathroom there. It was, wow. yeah. They told us the story, like, after, because that was one of the coolest things uh, we, we found ever while I was on the team. Right. And uh, it sucked a little bit because you have to do all this paperwork. <laughs> you know when you find something? Yeah. Uh, Just so like being a cop. it was like, <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, exactly, like a cop. Now I've got to sit down and I've just got to do all this paperwork to report this. I'm up that to was my a bummer. neck in paperwork. <laughs> how, did the, how did the client react when you showed oh, them? We made a oh, sale. we made a sale. Hey. Yay. Finally. She, she was like, she was just mellow. She, she was pretty cool. She was like an old, you know, Portland punk lady. 
So she was kind of like, that's cool. That's, I mean, that's what I thought was going on in there. I'll just try to talk to her. Wow, what a good sale. What was it? Yeah. A Raspberry Radio, a Pay to Play, and a I Don't Give a Fuck cassette. Three cassettes, three great cassettes. Nice. Nice. Um, awesome. All right, so Al Jazman yeah. Doom has a question. He says, has Duff ever boned on a ghost hunt? Damn. Uh -huh. Uh, no, no, most of the, I think I was the youngest person on my team. Um, that would have been an interesting party. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck this, this is boring. Let's get down. That would be like, if that happened, like, 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 so a group of like paranormal investigators not sexually attracted to one another, just like gets haunted by some, some demon and, and they just all bone. They just like strip naked and like. Like, and just like, like slap some, uglies, and they're crying because they don't want it to, but they're just they ha they have to. It's like no, they they they're like all like <clears throat> like so like like primal into it Ugh. all of a sudden like, <laughs> like grunting and yeah. So um, we did go Bigfoot hunting once. Nice. Um, well, yeah, we just you know as a team we wanted to do something different. And ghosts are cool, but after you find one thing, you know, you're like you're probably not going to see. It anything for a couple of years. It's really like years sometimes before anyone has a good experience or gets any good evidence. So after like your third ghost hunt and you don't see or hear anything, a lot of people would just stop doing this, you know, yeah. 24 hours worth of audio to check afterwards. So we all want to do something else. And so we went out to um, like the woods, uh, the Sayusla National Forest, right. and, like hiked deep in at night and set up and recorded a little and we didn't hear or see anything but we tried yeah they say <laughs> that that the the those sasquatch can can detect your electronic devices and and they won't come anywhere near you if you have anything that'll record them you know yeah who knows what those are uh, I, there's so many good theories love it um yeah we got some chats real quick. Let me get to these. Spittle says, uh, hey, how about this? Y'all ever hear the theory about your soul having an actual physical weight? Yes. Yeah. I've heard about this. Yes, I have heard that. I think that that is even more a... Uh, a fact. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess the theory is that, that that's you your do. soul. But the fact is that you lose a certain amount of mass when you when you die. You die. Yeah. Yeah. Because they but weigh people. that could be so people. many things. Yeah. That could be, like, your bowels releasing. Yeah, or, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean... There's, I don't know. I, I believe it, though. I think it's probably true. Rebake says, Ouch, you got the best question. Spittle says, I've unfortunately have witnessed people's death as well. It's weird how you just know when they're clinically dead. Spittle's lemon, lemon party, Canuck if you buck. Okay. Uh, Slick Nick says, Would you ever get head from a ghost? That's a question there. You said, would, would, I, would I ever get head from a ghost? That's more of like a question about life. I don't, would, would I ever get head from a ghost? Huh. Or would I ever uh, say Depends. yes to head from a ghost? Did yes. Yeah, me too. If a ghost wants to give me head, yes. But if I, if I, if I, am I ever gonna get head from a ghost? I don't know. I hope so. Um, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> says, "What about Bigfoot ghosts? I believe Bigfoot are interdimensional, so I think that they're uh, same. They're kind of like ghosts already. Yeah, they're already kind of like ghosts. So, uh, Spittle says, "I don't know about yeah. a ghost, but I'd be down for some Bigfoot boring." <laughs> Have you guys seen the commercial, <laughs> the, <laughs> that mattress commercial with the with the Bigfoot foot family? No. Okay. Well, there's the, oh there's the, there's the the mom of Bigfoot is kind of is you know she can get it. <laughs> can, you, can we watch nice. it? Can, <laughs> the mom, can, you, can you find this clip of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Slick like Nixon says my soul is a fat ass. There you go. Alcha says, I used to move dead bodies out of hospital when patients died. It was cool. <laughs> Whoa. Would I eat a ghost out? Uh, Hell yeah. Hell I yeah. Mean, it depends. I would take a ghost out to eat, too. <clears throat> yeah. El Pollo Loco. Uh, there was like a really haunted <laughs> tavern in the town I'm from in New York. Um, and they never got anybody to stay overnight. They had all these people that were supposed to be like, you know, taking care of the place. Everybody quit in one night. Um, they won't let anybody investigate it, but at night, apparently the tavern comes back to life, and it's just like any night in the 1800s, you know. What? Creepy. That is creepy. Yeah. That's some, like, uh, Yeah, I really want to check it out. That's like Haunted Mansion at Disney Long Island. type shit. 
Yeah, dude, it sounds cool. I, I mean, I've talked to a couple of the people. I really want to go there. <clears throat> we could break in, but... <laughs> No, probably yeah, get you, caught pretty quickly. You just quickly. gotta wear your. Uh, That's how horror movies start. That's true. That is, and I could wear the taps stuff. I bet the oh, ghost hunters are here. <laughs> Who's bringing a TV camera? <laughs> We're just scouting the location. All right, so Fungal has a little thing he wants to show us. This looks fun. What is this a, a commercial for? For uh, purple mattress covers. Okay. <laughs> um, how come... Okay, I need to figure out... I thought F was full screen. Oh, Wait, maybe... what? But maybe because it's in a different... Well, but I have it... It's my active window, so... I see, yeah. Um... So, like I said, I think I cook ghost for food for dinner. Nothing. Yeah. Remake says, I thought about applying for more trade transport jobs like driving dead bodies around, but it didn't pay enough. <laughs> Spittle says, Taras. Taras? Taras. I was about to say, I moved hundreds of bodies and I never felt scared in the hospital more. I even sent autopsy, which fucked me up for a while. Yeah, I guess that would be, you yeah. know, seeing that for the first time, like splitting someone open and like seeing that. It's all soft and like gooey and. Uh, that would be a bit heavy. Yeah, I don't like seeing that shit. Well, cool. Hell yeah. Um, any, you got any more uh, any more fun ones, Duffy? Any fun um, ones you can think well, of? Well, I, I did. Uh, I sent you guys some really good videos. I would oh, talk yeah. a little bit about those. and, and uh, All right. There's All right, some, some pretty good examples in there. There's one. Um, it's pretty famous. It's like, a, what is it? Ghost in the Office on 3 a.m. or something. And okay, yeah. I think, I think we've watched that before. I think. All right, let's go. All right, oh, we got um, guest, we got guest VJ Duffy in here, and uh, we're gonna go. Duffy's got a list of videos we're gonna play through. Well, uh, either way, I gotta figure out how to. Spittles asked Taras in. Is that oh, the name cool. of the bar, the tavern you're talking about, Duffy? <laughs> I see this in the chat. I'm reading backwards. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember the name of it, but I know right where it is. But it's, it's in Long it's Island. Like, yeah, it's a mile from my parents' house, and it's definitely like protected, like a uh, historical site. Got one of the big blue and yellow signs like right there, and it's been there since the town was like founded. Slick nice. like Nixon says, the guy in the Taps hat has pretty eyes. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. Christina says, there's a really cool YouTube channel called Ask a Mortician, and she makes great videos about the death industry and related topics. I've actually seen this, a couple of these videos. And they're Rebakes says, I know someone who does embalming. No way how I could do that. Ugh. Embalming? Yeah. Oh, that's a little, that's a bit match. All right. Oh. Um, so we're, we're sorting out um, the, the video sitch yeah. right now. Um, there's one of them that gives like a really great example of just how detailed you have to really get to check something when you are shown something that's that looks good, you know, otherwise. And this one's really great. Like um, I, I sent Funkel the video, and after it, it's really short. This guy takes like a minute and a half just to go over, and it's things like um, the computer monitor turns on by itself at one point, and uh, there's no reflection in the window where there otherwise would be. You know, you can see the computer monitor in the reflection, and it doesn't light up. I've seen this one. Um, Do you guys see the video in your uh, yeah, screen? Yeah, it's full screen. All right. So we're going to go to it. All right. We're watching it now, Duffy. Um, just to say... I don't know if he'll be able to see it, but... Yeah, he won't really be able to see it, but... Right on. But uh, I, I do believe we have watched this one, and this one... We it's have, pretty yeah. famous. It's a it's a well done hoax too. Yeah. So it's it's a confirmed hoax is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is, and it's it's little things like watching the timestamp. Oh, I think I can see it. There it is. Yeah. Okay, so it's not not so so bad of a uh, a lag of a lag there. But like things like um, if you actually view the timestamp on this video, there's holes in it, and uh, there's a couple of spots where like computers and things that are that. that they're just not in the reflection. They should be there, otherwise. Oh, uh, yeah. 
But yeah, this is like a really, really famous one. It gets a lot of TV play and stuff, but it's a confirmed hoax. I think Morgoth might have shown it. put a time into it. I wouldn't be surprised if this was faked by like a big budget TV studio. Right. right. You know? It looks like that's the type of office it is. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, right? They just did this in their own office. Well, all the all the stickers on the wall, I want a will, I want a pension. It's probably like legal zoom or something weird like uh. that. Oh, it was a ghost. EVP. Did you That was a you, right? <laughs> 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right. And then, and then it's like the, uh, the chair start moving, right? Yeah, something like that. And then the drawers, and slowly the office just comes. You know, something. They put something right there. It gets obvious. It gets really obvious eventually. Yeah, when I remember the first time we saw this, when the paper started flying out of the, of the. Yeah, that's cabinet. not real. That's one of the things the guy takes apart in the video. Yeah. Um, I sent along with this. And I was like thinking, like, like man, <laughs> well, how would that ever happen? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There. There's that. There's the chair. Something always looked funny about that, like a fade effect or something. To me. Yeah. I don't know if you see it too, but it looks like a fade effect or uh, an overlay or something. I just checked the audio. It sounds good. It sounds good in here. It looks really good on huh. Twitch too, man. I like how it looks on Twitch. I was just worried that, that yeah, that little bit where the all the, the things flashed, I was I was like, mm, I don't know. I found my water bottle, by the way. Where was it? It was in my room. <laughs> That's not a wham wham. I'm, I'm happy. Oh, there you go. Um, What's the in in uh, Zelda when you find something? Think, yeah. What is the? <laughs> Oh, yeah, what is that? Was that like a... What was that? It looks like it says, I want my pee-pee back. <laughs> <laughs> I want a will. I want a pension. I want my pee-pee back. <laughs> I want my pee-pee back. Pee-pee back. Pee-pee back. Pee <laughs> Shut the damn door. So is it like... It's not... There's probably like fools in there and shit. Yeah. yeah. And They're having some fun. Yeah. Confirmed hoax. Yeah, yeah, this shit is like straight out of like Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's a pretty well done hoax. A lot of the time, this is pretty much what it would look like if it were to be happening, you know? Yeah. There's a really good one I was looking for with a store in England, too, where like uh, Dude has his back. To like a, a shelf with a bunch of stuff on it or a lady I forget and uh, whoever this person is they turn around and there's like a thing hovering in the air just had floated off the shelf behind them and as soon as they look it just drops Whoa. Um, and they have no idea what just happened you know like did I knock that off the shelf somehow what was that but it's all on the closed circuit TV from the store Wow. I think that's another really famous one. That's not a hoax. That's actually allegedly real. The one you're talking about right now? With yeah, the, the one I'm talking about. Yeah. This one is, is definitely a hoax. Yeah. Okay, Spittle says, when y'all get a second, could you share your personal feelings, thoughts, experiences pertaining to spirit slash Ouija boards? Don't, I don't fuck with them. That's, that's my personal feelings on Ouija boards. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I don't touch I it. I think they're powerful, and I don't like that shit. Christina says, I want to be cremated and shot out of a confetti cannon. Nixon says, <laughs> I, I, Nixon says, I smoked embalming fluid once, thought it was PCP. Oh, how, how did you make that mistake? Bree Bakes says, uh, Nixon, how did that happen? 
Spinella says, if I ever get to choose how I die, I'm going to take a pre-measured amount of piano wire, tie it tightly around my neck. Then I will tie the other end to something on top of a building with a few stories. Finally, I'll cement glue my hands to my head and jump off finishing my life story with a question and <laughs> exclamation. Wow. Mark. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Mark says, I'm by myself at work right now, and, and I'm spooked. All right, so what is this video that we're watching? I think it just automatically went to it. Okay. So the, f the first video we watched was the... Uh, was the office scare ghost sighting, which is um, confirmed hoax, right? Correct. Yeah. Should we watch the uh, confirmed yep. hoax yep. uh, follow-up video? Let's do it. I'm excited to see this. That's it. I, I like this kind of stuff. It's interesting. All well, right. and it and it gives you like a real insight on like how you can pull it off yourself. You know what I mean? True. Cool. Trudy, true. Trudy, trudy, true. Oh yeah, there is you? there is sound on that on that one. I remember thinking, isn't there sound in this video? I guess I had the tab muted. Yeah, there's sound. So I'll <laughs> use the sound in this one. I do. Yeah, the sound. <laughs> that was my favorite one. I do. All right, let's see. Hell yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Some chats. I want to catch these chats real quick. Um. Uh. <laughs> So I was going to die and take a pre-measured amount of piano wire, tie it tightly around my neck, and I'll tie the other end to something on top of the building with a few stories, and I'll cement glue my hands to my head, so I'm off finishing my life story with a question and exclamation mark. Whoa. Free Bay says, I'm by myself at work right now, and I'm spooked. Christina says, I've used a Ouija board before, and it was pretty tame. I think it really depends on where you use it and being calm when things get sketchy. Slick like Nixon says, I did not need to see this before bedtime. Yeah, Christina, I just don't want to. I just don't want to mess around with shit. I don't know. I don't want. I, I just want to fuck around with that. No, shit. don't get me. I feel you. You're, no, don't get me. You're much braver than I am. Don't, and uh, don't trust the Ouija. No, I'm not into it. All right, so you no. ready for uh, go office ghost on three a on three a.m. debunked? Here we go. Office ghost on three a.m. Debunked. All right, here we go. Wunderbar. <laughs> Alright, let's make it my active window. Press that space bar. We'll get there. Okay. That's not doing it. Um, okay. Here it comes. How come space bar it says no? Not today. It's not playing. No. I know. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> it could be ghosts. Off the ghost, ghost on 3 a.m. There you go. There are quite a few issues there that we can quickly analyze. What's well, Australia got? Take a look at the monitors. And those monitors, uh, supposedly, flashing on and off, are actually painted in from a still shot. Also, there's no reflection on the desks or in the window of the back from the monitor screen supposedly coming on. Oh. Let's take a look at where the drawer slides out and some papers supposedly fly out <laughs> into the air. Firstly, the second line of drawers, they've been painted in there. I'd say to hide the uh, fellow or the girl standing next to the drawer. <laughs> and as the drawer opens, there's another anomaly there. The bottom right corner of the drawer has disappeared. As the drawer opens with full length, <laughs> the bottom right side actually distorts, gets larger. This would be to hide a hand or something, I presume. Now where one of the chairs takes a right across the room, at 2.25 on the timestamp, on the video, not on the uh, supposed security, which is probably is a security camera that somebody's pinched and used, see a fake part of a hand. It wasn't quite cut out properly when it was pushed across the floor. And in this room you supposedly see papers fly out from the ceiling. They're actually stuck on the outside with maybe blue tack or sticky tape or something. Two have actually stuck to the ceiling. Didn't come down with the rest of them. So in all in all it's a very good and well made video. Just that it's not real. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Cool. I like this. Yeah, guy. he did a pretty good job. I agree. He took, took that apart. Whoosh.
Spike that like. Oh, that was awesome. I, I like that. I want to watch more debunking videos. I like this. I'll just want Doom says, I almost stole. The Poltergeist video was published on YouTube on November 7th, 2012, showing CCTV footage uh, he's of gonna, an office in Castle. He's going to debunk it too. That's tight. Um, I'll just want Doom says, I almost stole a brain. It was from a biker chick that got shot in the chest. They did an autopsy and left her brain in a plastic tub for over a year. I didn't want her haunting me, swear to my mom. Damn. Yeah, damn. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, Spittle says, I've seen a video similar to this. It was a lady by herself in a laundromat with foldable tables and chairs across from her where she stood in front of a wall of machines. And then suddenly all the tables and chairs shot diagonally across the room at the lady. I've seen that one. Yeah, and then she's all freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Remember the Are one? Are you guys familiar with the... Uh with Alyssa Lamb? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we've watched the Alyssa Lamb footage a few times. Man, that happened right down the street. I sent you a couple street. of videos. Um, it's like the same thing that she's seen on the elevator, but just in, like, stores and stuff, like, all around China. Hmm. What do you think it is? There's, what? like, multiple videos of this. Um, I don't know. It's weird. It might be some kind of neurological condition, um, like misunderstood, but it's weird. Like in every one of these videos I've seen, it's almost like something on a shelf moves a little bit and the person looks and as soon as they touch it, it like takes them over. It's like possession. Um, that could also play into the common and, I think, very um, believable theory that it is some sort of radio weaponry that is, uh, like, like uh, you know, force weaponry. Actually, that's that's something I was going to say, too. Yeah, like, right? That could be some kind of directed energy. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe that's that part of it. You have to shoot, you have to shoot something. something you yeah. Know? It's like you shoot something first, and then when the subject touches it, maybe it's, it's like, yeah, weird. Black that box. would be... Yeah, it, either way, there's a lot of it. You see it, um, all closed-circuit television cameras from China so far. Most of the videos I've watched were in, in China. Hmm. Wow. Word up. Whoa. I have this this one. Should, it, should we watch it? Yeah. I believe in it. All right. All right, just a moment. All I'll right. get it set up. Um, I love this kind of stuff. Spittle says debunked um, that the story, the the one about the lady in the laundromat and the tables. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen a debunking of that one. Maybe that's something we could look into. Um, then he says the evidence that others put forth that personally confound me are the telekinetic type vids, things moving with nothing around them. Um, a lot of those. I love those videos. Yeah, you know, there's what's his name, the amazing Randall. He, he, like, spent the later part of his life debunking these so-called telekinetics. What a genius. Yeah, like Yuri Geller in the 70s. Um, when, when, when Yuri did his bit um, on Carson, he couldn't do it because, um, you know, the amazing Randy Randall, he, uh, he, con did, he controlled the conditions. And so Yuri Geller, for some reason, was too weak that day to do it when every other time he was able to do it. Um, so I don't know how I feel about the uh, the telekinesis stuff, but I did see this one with a uh, with like a it was like an African shaman witch doctor or something, and this this fool lifted off the ground, and that was a sick fucking video. That one was tight. Alex just says I have nightmares of all the people that drank from that tank that Alyssa Lam was found in. Damn. Yeah, For Ricky yeah. says Spittle. Yeah, that was like the thing. My mom told me about that story. She's like they found a dead woman who was there for weeks. Uh, people were taking showers, drinking, brushing their teeth, drinking the water, and then it started being gray one Whoa. day, and oh, they found her. Yeah. All right, so you you got this Funko going? Um, almost. Almost. It's full screen here, and uh, this is another uh, video. Can you uh, preface this video a little bit, maybe Duffy? It's, um, which video is it? Is it it's the, one the, the woman? The... Woman in a Chinese supermarket. Okay. Yeah, this is like, if you ask me, it's it's a, an instance of somebody doing something similar to Alyssa Lamb. Like, um, check it out. It's it's the same kind of weird movements, and it seems almost like possession, I nice. think, if it's the video I'm thinking of. I have a feeling I'm going to think that she was smoking PCP. <laughs> I haven't seen the video Maybe. yet, but um, I'm just going to go out on a limb and... 
I like that. Sometimes you don't mean to. That just happens by accident. You yeah, know? that can happen. There's all sorts of reasons why you might have erratic behavior in a supermarket. Maybe, That's true. Maybe the, the serious. I was doing this earlier. I was there to get ice cream. Yuku! Yuku's tight when you want to watch uh, all that shit that's uh, copyrighted. <laughs> I just think this is interesting. I, I want to see what other people think of it, really. Like, right. Do you guys think this is what Alyssa Lan was, was experiencing? So she, here she is in a Chinese supermarket. Oh, yeah, so there's something moving. It falls. All right. Yep, every time. This is my favorite one of these because you can see it leave. Yeah. These signs on the right blow when it leaves. It goes out of her. It's crazy. So here she's putting, she looks at it and she puts it back. Oh, man. What? Watch it. Here it is. And. Well. Yeah, that looks familiar. Help her. Oh, it gets crazy. Like, stuff around her starts moving and shit. It's nuts. Oh. I think a guy comes over and he touches her and it happens to him for a second, too. It's crazy. This is, I don't know what this is. See, it like blew that woman over. And she's scared. person got their phone yeah sure. i want to see that video yeah yeah me too that's a good cctv yeah it's got right it, it's got the audio and everything yeah so good cinematography too maybe what it is the fake fuck was that See, I didn't like that part. Yeah, that part definitely make, makes it seem a little less than real when it... But, you know, I do think that it could very well be electromagnetic weaponry. If it was that, yeah, of course. Because it, someone was like pointing, was like making the thing fall and then got her with it. Right? <laughs> Nixon says, fake! <laughs> Alcha says, fake! Yeah, well, to really be this, if it was fake, then how did they, how did they get permission from the store? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like how the thing, I like how the thing falls again. Oh, God. Yeah, that might not be real, but what do you think? I mean, I like very it. much like the Alyssa Lamb thing. Yeah, Spittle says uh, that four scramble screen shit, though. Yeah. I know, I think the same thing. That looks fake as hell to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I like the way the thing blew too. I think yeah. I, I've seen it before. And I thought it was fake, but you know, I uh, I like to be the skeptic. You know. Right on. I just like the. I think that was well done. If it was fake. Yeah. It, yeah. It's very impressive uh, production. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe or an for after more effect. of the panel. But I like all videos, even if they're fake. That's the whole point. That's the point. Like and subscribe. Subby the channel. <laughs> um, Spittle says, Aha, fuck you, bitch. That box go on the flow. Aja says, It's an entertaining video. Yeah, it was very good. That's why you don't zip. pick that stuff up. To work with. It's like a zipper down here. I, I like that. But yeah, totally with the, um, you know. There we go. Got a zipper. It's not that out of the question that what, so what did. unzip the whole thing when you go to the bathroom. Down here too. Oh, okay. It wasn't working. No. All right, Dove, you got more videos, bud? Yeah. Uh, there's another one I like a lot. It's different. Another different one. Oh yeah, um, the first oh. one that you sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Throw that up. 
That's the one with the the girl on the bus, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I I think this might not be real. I've seen real, this. I've seen it's... this one. There's a big cum shot on the end. Huh. Oh. Good one. Yeah. It's the bang bus, is what I was getting at. The bang of bus yeah, is yeah. cum. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've all seen that um, one. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Andy C says, seem choreographed. I don't I know, I just know how bodies channel. move naturally. It's still real nice. It's a fun, it was a fun one. It was fun. Spittles says, ha, 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 fuck you, bitch. That box going on the flow. I just says, it's an entertaining video. Yeah. All right, so next one, Duffy. I'm uh, working on it. All right, Isaac. Blonde on the bus. Uh, up. Isaac on the bus goes down, 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 <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> All right, hell yeah. Oh, right now, twenty four seven scary, creepy, and spooky Halloween horror stream. Twenty four seven. Is that like the whole day? Hell yeah, Duffy. What kind of weed you got right now? Yeah, okay. What are you smoking on? Oh shit! Uh, uh, Chem Dog. Nice. It tested nice. at like over uh, over thirty percent. It's some good shit. Wow. That's pretty high, bud. Yup. <laughs> Hell yes. What? My audio is kind of kind of scrambling over here a little bit. I don't know if because we're good. watching videos, but you're good on going. you're good on I'll our try end. I'll keep up. Yeah, you're good on our end, so <laughs> you're coming in. Cool. Cool. Okay. Right, I wasn't so, sure. So we're pulling this next video up. Girl uses psychic powers. There we go. All right, ready? Yeah. yeah. I, like, I this. like this one. This is right up your alley, uh, Spills. What you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're looking. We're looking at that one right there. Yeah, she's pissed. Oh, this is Thailand? I wonder what they're fighting about. Probably jack shit. You have a dog's face. Don't look at me with your dog's face. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Yup. So, she's Tetsuoshima. It's like right out of Akira. I know. Got it up. The ground's gonna break under her like Dragon Ball. Yeah. Tetsuo. <laughs> it's sick, whatever it is. What is this? I mean, this like, if this is fake, they take a big budget, right? Yeah. Very cool. That's great. Yeah, they had a whole, uh, if it was fake, then they would have had a whole, you know, cast of extras, and, I mean, you know, um. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a big budget. You know, when we look at these videos, one of the first things that's like, we always ask is like, why are they even filming in the first place? You know, like, what's yeah. the point? And sometimes if there's no point to why they'd be filming, then, you know, that might be a hoax. So this one, it, it's a fight. People record fights on their phones all the time. You could say that's America's new pastime. Um, it was in America, obviously, but uh, Isaac, I know what you mean. Uh, Slugger yeah. Nixon says he's smoking ghost OG. Nice. That's very paranormal of you. Uh, he says Isaac translate. Isaac doesn't know what they're saying. Yeah, dude. Come on, man. Spittle says, fuck. Remake says, LOL. Uh, and he says, I don't know real, though. 
Yeah, easier to fake with low quality, sure. That's true. And then Spittle. Spittle says, world star. Yeah, there easier you go. Easier to fake with low quality, but also, like, why would you get all those people together for so low quality? Yeah. It's to make it more believable. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, there you go. Uh, is that it? Do you have any more of those, Duffy? I think that was the last one, other than the Alyssa Lamb video. Which... Oh, I mean, I've got a bunch yeah. up here, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you do. Have you guys seen the one? There's like 12 or 14 different videos. Um, I think it was like the, it was in the Middle East, uh, the Temple Mount or whatever, the UFO that came down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, every, like... That's one I'd love to, like, analyze. Like, I'd love to see, and I, I haven't found anybody, like, really analyzing those yet. But those are, those are cool. Yeah, those are awesome. awesome. We should, uh... Al just says, can I send a zombie video to Funkle? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Of course. Um, we should, uh, save that for the next time you come on, dude. We'll do the U UFO. I just recorded a, uh, a song oh, about zombies that my dad wrote. Really? Yeah. What's it about? It should I play it? Yeah. Okay. That's this is kind of paranormal. Yeah. Speaking of zombies, um, all right. Let's see. Um, I gotta find it on my. All right, here we go. Spittle says, "Yeah, any thoughts on the new zombie drug, Flocka? <laughs> Walk a fucking flame." Have you guys talked about the the rake at all on this? Yeah. Show? yeah. Rake. Oh yeah. Rakes. The rake. They emerge from the earth, all tethered and tethered. Since their dead zombie birth, their drool has been slathered. They seek out your brain and feast on your flesh. Their gait slow and lame, with their breath not so fresh. It's the last. Zombies have gathered Fight back for all your worth Or nothing will matter The zombies can be beaten They're really quite fragile Escape being eaten Team up and be agile They're not very smart, they grunt and they moan While lacking a heart to hatred they're prone It's the last day on earth The zombies have gathered Fight back for all you worth Or nothing will matter the zombies can be beaten They're really quite fragile Escape being eaten Two buff Team up and be agile Two buffs on the stream oh, This sight quite oh. horrific But oh, don't be afraid cat. Be strong and stay quick and join the zombie crusade. Yeah, he just came back. Stop all your weapons and keep on the ready. Align with your friends or the end will be deadly. It's the last day on earth. The zombies have gathered. Fight back.
That's definitely I got, that one is is my dad was like, I don't know. Do you think we should do that one? And I was like, it's my favorite one. So if you don't want me to do it, that'll be a bummer because I did all these other ones. But uh, I mean, I like them all. I'm, I'm yeah, just proud sorry. of my dad that he's starting to write music. Yeah, it's like it, it's like a kid wrote that song. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Elaine says, that's a very uplifting song about the zombie apocalypse and would definitely make me want to fight back. Yeah, that's he, that's what he said. He was like, whenever he sends <laughs> me a song, awesome. he all, he like includes like what he's trying to say, you know, with this song. And it's, it's funny because they're all pretty straightforward. But on this one, he was like, you know, I want it to be kind of spooky, but also like... <laughs> I want people to be like uplifted and like know that you can fight the zombies. It's like a rally song. Yeah. Is your dad into zombie movies now? Yeah. He he said he wrote that song because of me and Kevin. Nice. And like and like how we like to play uh, games. Oh, uh, we stuff. don't have the uh, the chat on that screen over here. Oh, okay. I'll, let me do that for you. All right. I just said he sent you a link to your Twitter. I saw that. I'm, he said I'm, I saw Funkles working on my favorite porn star, Larkin Love. She's such a babe. Jealous. I'm not working with her. You just wrote a song about her. I just wrote a song about her. I wish I was working with her. I, I, she, she tweeted back at me. She tweeted her. back at me. She has not tweeted in response to the song yet. Um, I'm hoping that what, when she does tweet in response to the song, <laughs> that she'll say, um, I owe you one uh, tit job for, um, for the song. How happy would that make you? I would... I could die after that. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, would no, make it, you would make it count too. I yeah, you, you wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, oh. <laughs> you wouldn't come for like two hours. Yeah, I'm like, no, no, no I'm not, not <laughs> slow yet. it down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, when you're about to come, you think of like uh, Vince Scully, and Mike <laughs> Piazza takes the mound. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, Chase uh, gave us, so uh, he gave props. Sick, uh, it's like Nixon gave some fire. And he said, it's the last damn pipes, forces belief. Love you, doggy. So I'll shut up now. No, don't ever shut up. Keep talking. Don't you, you, can, you, know, you can request a song uh, up to be written and uh, performed by us. Uh, yeah. I guess my, my dad has been getting a special deal on the song service. Yeah. Bree Bakes says, well, homies, I'm out of here tonight in our family. Love you all. W, you are great. Love you too, Bree. Good night. Bye, Bree. <laughs> night. Um. But like I was saying, I gotta give a little plug real quick to the Nartape's uh, United Song Service, Royal United Song Service. <coughs> um, we will make a song custom for you. We've already we already have a double vinyl uh, that came out, and it's on CD and digital and tape. It's 28 songs, and uh, all the songs were uh, commissioned by people about uh, real stuff. And we can do that any genre, anything you want. Uh, just hit us up. Uh, you can go to the website. There is. Um, a buy button for that, and also, uh, you know, I'm mean, we're cranking a bunch of those out. Uh, I got Burglar Brett coming into the studio tomorrow, so um, and I'm hoping I'm gonna get those first two Burglar Brett tracks done. So I'm hoping yeah. I can drum up a few more Burglar Brett tracks. Hope he doesn't for, steal anything. Wednesday night. Nah, he's good now. <laughs> yeah. Are you, right. I haven't seen him in a while. I, I, you know, I'll give him. I I'm I'm really open to giving people like multiple chances. He hasn't stolen from us in a long time. I mean, I just liked him the most. So, I mean, if I'm vouching for him now, yeah. Yeah, good point. So, I really didn't like him. You know what? I usually, to me, I'm like, I'm like too sleepy or, or, um, too, like, I just have too much to focus on to like, to not give people the benefit of the doubt, you know, which is a, which is a fault to a certain extent. Right. But I'm like, I don't want to think about being worried about him stealing something, so I'm just going to let him <coughs> work in the studio. And True. It'll be fine. Well, he's going to just be recording here. Did Burglar Brett. Got to be careful of Burglar Brett. I got 16 watching, 16 likes. Spank that like button. You guys want to check out the video that uh, Ouch just sent? Yeah, spank that like button. All right. Here we go. All right. A live zombie found in back of truck. Looks like a fake zombie found in the back of the truck. <laughs> okay, they got some like cops or something involved. Well, that's just meth. It's like Australia. That's salt. So this is it, Wanda. I see. So this is the. Isaac was talking about PCP earlier. Yeah, that's that's drugs. Yeah, Cheyenne, yo. What up, Cheyenne? Yeah, man. 
This is all gnarly. What up, Enzo? It's the oh, meth. God. Meth on Earth. The meth heads. Yeah, she's... That's real, meth. but it's not really a zombie. That's why. <laughs> What's the closest thing to a zombie I've ever seen? Yeah. But... <laughs> look like that's just good old fashioned bath salts. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely high on something. <laughs> like all, all the real life zombie videos on YouTube are all gonna be be that too. Like PCP. Yeah. Tiger's blood. <laughs> Thank you, Ouches. And so, what fucking drugs is this? I'll you'll see everybody had their own. Uh, they threw out their own little answers up there. Cheyenne says, Ricky, what's up? What up, Cheyenne? Spittle says, yo, I watched a naked dude sprint into and through an SUV <laughs> back windshield. Yeah. PCP. Uh, I'll just, hey, that's as real as we're going to get. Oh, yeah. 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 That was wow. Pretty, that one was pretty I like scary. It. 16. You guys watching. remember the do not make me assume my ultimate form lady at the McDonald's Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could have been demonic possession, yeah. but it was probably meth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. She was just hangry, bro. <laughs> Spank that like button. That video was really depressing. We do not yeah. serve chicken McNuggets at this time. Oh, I know you. It's like people are just so <laughs> on edge. It's like like the economy is fucked. Income equality is so <laughs> fucked. There's like war going on all the time, and people will just crack because that woman yeah. and they she has. You know, she she's malnourished for one, so yeah. she's she's oh. got it all twisted, thinking that the chicken nuggets are even going to do anything for her. But she eats <laughs> chicken nuggets for every meal, probably, and uh, uh, and and uh, it's just sad. It's just a sad, depressing thing to think that that's like what what's going on. Like <laughs> like you need to check back in with yourself. Like like meditate, drink some water, eat yeah. like an apple, yeah. like. Uh, yeah, vegetables. Yeah, and 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 and. <laughs> French fries and, and ketchup is a vegetable. Don't hit, don't uh, yeah. like punch the McDonald's employee, you know? Jace really says, how about that crocodile shit? Yeah, that's just fucked. Yeah, that's just nasty. And he said, that's what he yeah. has in his truck bed. Imagine his jacuzzi. Oh. <laughs> Cheyenne says, you know what's spooky? Clowns. Yeah. We had a whole episode about clowns uh, a couple weeks back. And oh, he says, yeah. do you guys believe in alien possessions? I've heard about this kind of shit. So like, is there fucking full on aliens who are disguised as, as uh, aliens? <laughs> Are we aliens? Shannon says, we probably are. How exactly to come from one being? And Zoe says, you know, as a, uh, it's look like Nick is a search, it's look like Nick is a search zombie guy in Brazil. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, but first I have to take a piss. Okay. 18 watching, 18 likes, slap, okay, that, slap that like button, spank it. I can search it first and then. Yeah, he said that spank that like button. I'm, 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 I'm. Spank it. Spittle says, yeah, that's definitely mental health issues exacerbated by meth slash lack of sleep. Yes. It looks like, she looks like like people I've seen on Cops before. Yeah. She you does. Know. She does. That, that she looks exactly like she sounds. Yeah. When you, when you mix, you know, <laughs> fucking dangerous drugs with uh, your mental health issues, weird shit happens usually. <laughs> we lost a life. Yeah. Someone said, fuck oh. this. Never mind. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so this is a zombie yeah. guy in Brazil. Um, let's, uh... I've seen this. Oh, yeah. This is great. This, this is a guy, like, in prison or something, I think. This guy is fucking crazy. Or jail, crazy. like, lock up. Then he got pulled in off the street. Yeah, this fool's crazy. Yes. Alcha says, I'd let an alien abduct me and milk my man gravy. Awesome. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, now, that's like, controversial. My daddy says my dad's friend claims he got a yeast infection from an alien abduction, but I don't believe it. <laughs> really, since everybody has seen the show, Cops, it seems like you don't even want to have to have cable to watch it. Cops is the best show yeah. of all time. Number one show. Yeah. Okay, we got 18 likes again. 18 likes! If you're watching, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Okay, so I've seen this video, we've all seen this video. This guy's crazy as fuck. So, uh... This is great. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't get this shit to, like, full screen right. Spark the uh, light button. Yeah, it's super annoying. Button. Okay, maybe I have to do this. <laughs> Capture also, uh, consider going to the website, nartapes.com, and uh, purchasing some new cassettes. We have uh, Fat Tony. We have the new Jerry Rogers cassettes are finally in. 
Uh, the RCV more tape pre-orders are up. Uh, that tape's gonna be coming in like a week, a week and a half. Says the guy at the factory. I just picked up the Jerry Rogers tapes and Jimmy yesterday. And he says a week, week and a half, we'll have the RCV more tapes as well. And then the free weed tapes also right behind that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he looks like a zombie. <laughs> Was this Resident Evil 5 promo? This guy was just working on his acting reel. I would not fuck with that guy. I'm like a pretty, I'm a pretty no fear guy. Crazy How about some do his ass? I think I've read about this. And I think they're trying to get him to calm down so they can help him. I don't know. He should be bleeding more than that. I don't know. That guy needs to get up in the booth and cut some tracks. <laughs> yeah, he's got a sick voice. DMT trip experience was fucking dry. And it says, who has the balls to confront him? Look at the lab coats. What the fuck? Now they're like, nah. I don't want to talk okay, to Okay, now guy. I pee. I don't think, uh, maybe, I don't know what happened to him. I think he had, like, got in a fight, maybe, or... So, Morgoth, what up? He says, The Walking Dead, Rio de Janeiro. Rio uh, is awesome. I've been to Rio. Me and Jimmy went. I'll tell you what, man. There's nowhere like, I've been, like, that fucking crazy place. When I look back on my mind and I think about it, it's just like, woo. Hot, very, very humid, and so delicious food. And uh, it was just a great, great, great experience going there. Hell yeah. Spittle Minogue says, he just ex excited he saved money by switching the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Save 10%. There you go. All right, so it's 11.07. You know, we go to midnight usually. Uh, we got uh, 53 minutes left. Hell yeah. So uh, let's get some more sales in there, guys. Can we try to sell some of these new Jerry Rogers tapes that we got? You want to go grab a couple of those, Isaac? Yep. So I can show what they look like. They're really cool. cool. Ouches Von Doom. Uh, uh, Enzo says, what part of Rio was I in? I was, uh, I, I forget, the near, I was staying at the bottom of a, uh, bottom, bottom of a favela, uh, but one of the more popular areas over there. And then I went over, I went over to Copacabana and Ipanema, and I went around Rio a bunch, actually. I got around. Uh, so I, I was there for a few days. I was just says, could you imagine an alien abduction? Uh, you then they show you and some technology you've never seen. You instantly get hooked on their holodeck game system, and they drive you off in a field of nothing. <laughs> you're, like, you're, like, you're like Overwatch. Try this. <laughs> oh fuck! And they said, did you get? Did you go to the tourist area or the deep part? Um, a little bit of both, um, for sure. Uh. Uh, just because there's Epanema, there's a girl there. <laughs> uh, 18 likes. Alright, let's see if we can get some sales. Let's see those Jerry Rogers tapes. Look at these. They're beautiful. And it's a fucking fantastic Yeah, it's thing. so fucking Jimmy good. Jimmy is really talented. This thing. Yeah, he did and it. And they're sealed. His, uh, his video that he was playing during uh, his set last night was fucking sick, too. Yeah, yeah he did a really good job on that. He was like, oh, I worked way really harder on that. His cocaine song is super good. That song is bomb. That's the best one. That song is the bomb bomb. I was like, well, it's like a free weed song, but about cocaine instead of weed. Yeah. <laughs> like, not like, not like uh, musically, but like lyrically. Yeah, it's like, oh, totally. It's like exactly the same thing, like reverence. I didn't, I didn't know he, 
I, I think it's making fun of it in the song. Uh, and also half, half fun, half reverence. That's how it goes, you know. Yeah. Uh, Andy C says, gorgeous tape. Yeah, I did it. It sounds so fucking good, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I listened to it today in the store. I'm so, it's so good. Uh, Morgoth says, uh, the Coco, yeah. yes. Uh, he's in love with the Coco. Last time she came over. Um, all right, guys, so, um. And it's, it's called last time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, a, it's like, it's like oh, yeah, it's not even like, he's not even hiding that it's like a Strokes core. Yeah, yeah. It's like Strokes, ELO, uh, like, Peewee's Playhouse, like, like cartoon, I don't know. It's super fucking good. Yeah, it's awesome. It's very, very good. It's really like candy. It's like candy music. Still with us there, Duffy? Yo, be up. Hell yeah. Do you got any more videos, or does anyone else have any more videos we should watch? Maybe. Oh, I, I got so many videos, man. Um, hold on, let me think of one. Yeah, ghosts or zombies or. Oh, ghosts? Yeah. You want to keep it spooky? Yeah, ghosts is the theme of the episode. Yeah. Okay. B BDSM. Okay. I've had some ghosts in my life. I'm going to see if I can find something real quick. There's some really, really, really good ones on here. So, I'm really glad that we I, got that we're doing this printing with ENAS because our printer is not that tight for printing, like, yeah. but it's got, for this kind it of stuff. It doesn't have the gloss. That shine, you know? Nope. Need or the pixel shine. depth. No, or the pixel depth. Our, pr our printer is pretty our much... Our printer is not a, uh, you know, a printer like that. It's mostly... It's got a great scanner. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, printing is, is you know, we've we've done several tapes with it, and, you know, they look fine, but they're not they're not like that sh professional sheen. Yeah. Um, this was professional. I just unwrapped it for you guys. Uh, Jerry Rogers printed pro dub sounds... It sounds good? Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Fantastic. Just the one. All right. If you're just uh, if you're just joining us, we have um, our friend Duffy, um, our guest, our special guest tonight. He's in the back. He's right here, and he's an old friend from Portland and former member of oh, yeah. the Taps chapter of Portland. That's right. Taps like ghost hunters, so he knows about spooky ghost stuff, and he's investigated. Uh, Things of that nature, and so now we're we're sharing. He's sharing some videos with us and some fun, some fun things. So uh, that's Duffy. If you're wondering who the guy on the screen is, oh yeah, that's the Duff Man. What's up? Have you been Duff Man for Halloween yet? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That was like 2013 or something. Yeah, I got wasted everywhere I went. People kept giving me more and more beer. I remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, do. I walked home. From downtown, I was wasted. <laughs> yeah. That was the sick shit about Portland. You just be fucking drunk and like you just walk, walk your ass home. Yeah, and it was oh, like, yeah. especially back then, it was so so quiet and sleepy at night. You know. Oh yeah. Just me. Yeah. <laughs> Chase says taps Even on, like a big party night. It's it's shit. Yeah. Chase says uh, taps. I remember watching that show on TV years ago. Enzo says mm -hmm. you ever fight a ghost, Duffy? Well, Taps, uh, Duffy is a, used no. to work, work for Taps. I did. I, I, I don't need more, honestly. Yeah. I, I took a break from the team for now, at least. I might come back eventually. But right now, I'm, I'm kind of exploring, like, maybe not being in Portland so much, you know? Right. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's nice to come here and work and, and do music and stuff. But it's also, like, nice not to be here. Especially when it's cold and like, I'll see like warmer places in the colder months, you know? Yeah, right. Like, so I might buy an RV. That's my plan right now. Yeah. And then, uh, that van KOA life. my way around. All right. Enzo says, uh, you ever fight a ghost, Duffy? Uh, I, no, but I, <laughs> I kind of deep down always wanted to just because of Ghostbusters. Yeah, of course. Morgoth uh, threw down a link. If you want to grab that, Funkle. Sure. Spittle says, uh, Duffy holding it down. Look like Nick said, where's Whoopi Goldberg when you need her? Oh, he made a sale! There we go! Sale. From Duffy. Hell, <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. He made some good choices, too. what you get? He got Hell yeah. Raspberry Radio and Imaginary Friends. Raspberry ah, Radio. 
Uh, we'll hook you up. We'll, we'll give you some more in there too, Debbie. We'll throw in all the pins Thanks, and stuff. Bud. Yeah. Uh, Slick so Nixon says, "Where's Whoopi Goldberg when you need her?" Chase Willie says, "The two guys who host the show were plumbers or something. Plumbers by day, ghost hunters by day." <laughs> <laughs> Spittle, Spittle. Sounds like Richard. Virgi Richard. Virginia. I was like, like their henchman. Yeah. You know, I'm like I'm just a Portland henchman. Uh, Spittle says, Rich, "Sounds like Richmond, Virginia. That place has some sp spooky streets and some old ass buildings. Yeah, yeah. that's the old place. It's one of the old oldest towns." Chase Weezy says, "And they investigated ghosts at night." Chase Weezy says, "They play uh, play the Weezy's Mansion on the GameCube if you try to play a cool ghost game." Yeah, I need a GameCube if anybody has one. You know what I, I want to play, and I hope that they bring back someday is Fatal Frame. That was a uh, ghost photography game. It was fucking scary. Oh yeah, scary I remember that game. Fuck. Yeah, dude, I stayed far Whoa. away. From that game, I stayed far. Whoa. away. That was like the first. Like I was like, oh, I love Resident Evil and Silent Hill. I and saw. Then, like, I saw that. I saw the trailer that game. I said, hell no. <laughs> I said, I'm not. Mm -mm. I was like, for Zelda. I was like, I'm not playing. It. Fuck that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna. No, I mean, it looked cool. That was a frustrating thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was really cool. It looked it awesome, beautiful. and I was like, uh, I'm, I'm pissed off and scared, but. The human, the, uh, the easiest human emotions uh, to feel. And uh, that game looks way too scary for me. It looked absolutely, unbelievably horrifying. And they made a bunch of them. And the new ones looks, and I heard they're working on a newer one. Oh, I bet the newer ones are probably even crazier. I, I, I heard the new one is going to be, the, 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 it, apparently it's going to be a big deal when it comes out. And it's going to be like... Uh, That's exciting. I didn't know that there was a new one. Traumatizing. Yeah, I think that they are working on a new one. I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah. I might have just been a fucking hype, but... Spittle says, uh, yeah, dude, nope. That shit looked too much like a Mike film. What? I'm assuming, Fatal uh... Fatal Frame. What were we just talking about? That game. Yeah, Fatal Frame. Yeah. Fatal Frame. Mike film? Two. I'm assuming, like, Mike film, when you say that, I'm like, what? Like, uh, Mike Myers? Or, uh... Yeah, well, it's Mike... Oh, uh, Mike? Mike? Yeah. Isn't that a isn't that a Japanese? Oh yeah, Mike, yeah, yeah, dude. Here's, Here's a, a really good Takashi Mike, yeah, Takashi Mike, yeah. Pronounced. Really Andy C says, "I'm a drunken philanthropist. Yeah, I'm sure you've had to repeat this, but the easiest way to purchase, please." In the uh, in the YouTube description, there's a there's a Streamlabs. Uh, and also right here, nardtapes.com. Or nartapes.com slash GTG has this video also streaming there. And there's featured items, and there's also a shop page. We have lots of cool new tapes, lots of old tapes, uh, tapes from not that long ago, and tapes from uh, right now. We got t shirts, got records, we got enamel pins, like the cool metal ones. And also, everybody who orders something off the website tonight is going to get a free. Mothman enamel pan sponsored by the Nartapes Network. That's us. Uh, Andy guys. C, don't be sorry, man. If no, you're no. if you're a drunken philanthropist, we celebrate you. Yeah, we celebrate you. It's people like you that help us do this. It, 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 it costs us uh, so much. We've never ever had to pay this much money in our lives to operate our record label and our business. Back when we were in Portland, we had to pay eight hundred dollars a month in rent and a few utilities. That uh, that's like our trash bill. <laughs> you know. Like, uh, no, I, I mean, you know what I mean. It's like it, we play, it, 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 and all, we only get money from our, from our music, and from our art, and from freelance gigs that we do. It's all, we have no corporate sponsors. It's all from drunken philanthropists like you guys. Yeah, seriously. Uh, seriously, you guys help us so much. Uh, and, you know, it's cool, too, because I really want you guys to get these tapes. That are, I listen to them. I think they're amazing. I wouldn't put it out if it wasn't shit I wanted to listen to. This is cool shit. I've been making tapes, listening to tapes for years. If I wasn't into it, I'd be sick of it and bored of it by now. And I'm not. I love it. And it's awesome. And these are some of the best things I've ever done. And uh, this new Jerry Rogers one is fucking... It's like it's like one of the most... Long, it's like been waiting for this one. Like the last Jerry Rogers cassette we did was like five years ago. All right, here's the... Uh, what? what? Uh, Damn! Oh, yeah. I've, I haven't seen this. I've seen two I've, of those in my life. I've seen shit like this, yeah. I saw some. Uh, if you spank well, the like button, will the spank button come over this image? Yeah, or no, not no. not in this case, no. Damn, that'd be sick. But I should set that up. Yeah. This is looking slightly like what I saw in uh, Joshua Tree when the lights are like refracting like that. Like that? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. That's a good one. Wow. 
That's the TR3B. Yeah. It's triangular. The triangle. Yep. Whoa. Secret What's space that program, in the middle? And that shit's real. That is fucked. <laughs> I just went to White Sands and like Alamogordo. I spent like a few days camping uh, with uh, these guys who work for NASA, and they were Whoa. all drunk, telling me all kinds of shit. Like, <laughs> like so when I went out to Alamogordo, I kept my eyes open. You know, I didn't really get to see much, but there's all kinds of weird installations there. It's like off the side of the road behind a hill, a bunch of power lines going underground, like just weird shit like that. Whoa. Yeah. Chase Wheatley says there's another game on GameCube called Eternal Darkness. Oh, yeah, Eternal Darkness was fucking scary. That game was tight. It was like a space. You were, just, like, stuck in space. Oh. Like space. Oh, and there was, like, it was, like, that game was, like, one of the first games with horrifying sound effects. Like, you would be, like, you would be, like, walking and you'd hear, like, Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. That game was too much. That came out only. That came out like a few couple years after uh, Fatal Frame, if I remember correctly. Fatal Frame sounds like it's not my shit. Uh, I would be down to watch it, but I would play that. I'm I'm down. You know me. I would you, play yeah, you that. can handle the scary games. I like them a oh, lot. Yeah. I just finished Alien. That game was really scary, and it was. I was saying the other <laughs> like night, it was like the same that. scare over and over again, and it still kept getting me. <laughs> When the alien walks up, is comes up to you, I go ah <laughs> every time. Uh, well, yeah, that was a cool video. Was that uh, was that Morgoth's video or? Yeah, that was what Morgoth put. Very cool. Can I? Man, I'm trying to think stuff? of the name of this family, but there was like this really good poltergeist video from the '80s. Anybody know what I'm talking about? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Are you talking about it was like a little girl who's trying to do her homework, and it's like shaking the goddamn table, and there's like adults trying to hold her down and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. really good. I remember that. Yeah, that's just tight. It's really good. That one's really good. Yeah, that one's famous. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Just look up, like, look that up on Google, like, girl shaking. And I've been trying to, that's what I've been doing over here. I cannot find it. It's driving me nuts. The show that, that aired it in the... 90s was English and it was actually called Ghost Hunters, but it it either did or didn't have a space. So Watch, I'm gonna find it right now. Ghost <laughs> Ghost Homework Table Video. Ghost Homework Table Video. Yep. I'm looking it up. I'm trying. It's not. Somehow not getting it. Oh, wait. I think I may have found Family it. Haunted Quit. by Poltergeist. Yeah, it's Family Haunted by Poltergeist. <coughs> uh, here, I want to put it in the, in, the, in the link there, Fungal, here. And then you'll be able to grab it off there. Huh. Huh. I just no search real quick. You just heat it up for me. Yeah, you going to do one yeah. too? I want to see a ghost. Oh, 19 Lamb. likes. Can we get the 20 likes? That would Damn. be scrum diddly umptious. Where is uh, Andy C. with his drunken philanthropy? I hope it to be the most wonderful sale of all. I hope he buys a song. That would be awesome. I hope he spends $250 uh, on uh, a song by White Fang or The Memories about what uh, <laughs> about ghosts or about uh, drunken philanthropists who, who help artists achieve their dreams through... Uh, through support and uh, I was just going to say I bet the Warrens are involved with this and the, their their old ass popped up it's yeah. first thing when I press play okay dude there should be an app for that we should make that app for uh, for rich ass people to find poor ass artists to support <laughs> not bad huh yeah it's called philanthropist <laughs> Philanth- philanthrinder yeah or f- philanthrop philanther Okay, so this video, this video is called uh, Family Haunted by Poltergeist. Have you ever had any experience with a poltergeist before, Duffy? No, I want to, though. Yeah. <clears throat> That's when you go into this, like, really longing, but, man, I never, never saw anything like this. I, we I had, want to. I, I was talking about poltergeist with our German friend, Luca, and uh, he was like, 
he was like, oh, that's a German word. And uh, I was like, yeah, everyone, everyone says poltergeist. And he was like, oh, that's cool. And then I was like, what is polter? Uh, or, you know, because geist means ghost. And he said, he was like, uh, he thought about it for a second. Yeah. He was like, polter is, polter is like this. Yeah, he went, and he knocked on the on the floor. He was like, that's polter. Knocking. It's like a knocking, yeah. And he says, uh, and he uh-huh. says, it's coming, you dicks. Looking for wallets. Sing a quick segment of Magic Woman and fuck off till sale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. And Liam says, got my tur- uh, my, got my t-shirts today. Thanks, boys. Hell yeah, oh, Liam. That, that, that was pretty good. Yeah. Got um, my t-shirt. <laughs> I was just trying to think of junk rats. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a fine junk how rat. do you do. Junk a town. Got my t-shirts today. Thanks, boys. <laughs> she, she, she sweetly says, oh, Blow it up again. <laughs> Fire in the hell! <laughs> My favorite is that part in the Genji video. Everything's coming up exploding. <laughs> when, when the actor is doing the Genji bit. <laughs> He's all smiling and shit. Yeah. Doing this ultimate <laughs> scream. <laughs> the dance he goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Spittle says, Oi, oi, oi! Family haunted by Poltergeist. All right, here we go. Here we go. That guy looks sick. That's Lane Warren. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne Warren. What is going on with the audio? I need some sound. All right, wait a second. Wow. God damn it. Uno momento, por favor. Oh, I love a mint. A mint. What did we eat earlier? Oh, uh, Taco Bell. That was nice, dude. <laughs> We went to Taco Bell earlier today, and I got a $5 oh, yeah. Xbox One X box <laughs> craving box. Um, nice. I got a one. three. I got like a three-dollar item menu uh, things, and a mm-hmm. uh, and a chicken uh, roll griller. Uh, Fogel uh, uh, usually goes really light, but today I saw he went in pretty hard today. Yeah, I wanted to uh, try the new uh, dollar menu things that I hadn't tried. Nice. Oh, right how, how are they? Yeah, it was all pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. What? Well, uh, well, uh, give a quick little review. Well, I had two of the Frito burritos, which I like. I know about those. Those are and great. And then the um, and those are like you know I got five things, and then I took five bites and was like this was a five mistake, and uh, um. But uh, I also got the um, spicy potato soft taco. Always classic. Um, uh, it was pretty good. Um, not you know not very spicy actually. Oh uh, no. Um, and then uh, um, I had the uh, uh, yeah the the, ch- the chicken quesadilla little guy. That was pretty good. And then the beef ch- quesadilla, which I was like, this is just like a grilled soft taco. And they charge more to not grill it, and that's what I want more. <laughs> so it's like the same exact thing? Yeah, pretty much. It's like a little tortilla with meat and cheese. I got that machine that makes Egg McMuffins today. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get these yeah. chats, chats real quick. Chase says, are cats paranormal? Paranormal? Hell yeah, Chase. You know what's up. They do some weird shit. I do. I believe cats are. Morgoth says, did you find the X? No. Spittle says a chicken cheese quesadilla slaps too. Hell yeah, it slaps. I thought, I thought Fungal got one of those. And it says, would you guys sit down with 18-year-old versions of you guys? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I, why not? I'll be like, yo, dude, try this weed. Uh, so I tried, so I tried emailing you guys about some tapes I never got, but I don't think I, through, I went through also a pin. I think because I tried replying to the actual order form. How did I contact you guys about that? Sup? Uh, also, sup? Y'all, y'all been a minute. GGG is live. Sartorius! Back in the building. Uh, you just, uh, you're talking to us now. I guess just get us. Uh, email me. Yeah. Our tapes at gmail.com. I'm, I'm packing the mail orders now with Isaac. Uh, we, we've been uh, doing it together. I'm trying to do it like every day now. I'm trying to pack it up. So it doesn't all pile up. Because when it piles up is when it sucks. Yeah. Also with pre-orders, which is really helpful. You guys buy pre-orders. I, I got back on uh, getting like a system again. So I got the system down. So yeah, Sartorius, let me know. Also, since it's late, I'll hook you up. Uh, also, a good way, a really good way to uh, tell us what is missing is maybe order something new, like the Jerry Rogers tape or the Particle Kid, and then put everything that you have missing in the comment section, and then I'll hook you up also with extra fat on that. Just saying. You don't have to buy anything tonight. But if you do, you know, I might hook you up too if you hook me up. 
You know what I'm saying? There you go. I love it when paranormal narcasts can get over a hundred dollars in the, in the night because when it, that that's that that's like those big numbers really help us out. You know, none of our bills are. Or also, $5, our, fo so our phone number is on the website too. If you ever need to call us and let us know so yeah. something. Um, should we watch this video? Yeah, yes, sir. Let's do it. Family haunted by poltergeist, a knocking ghost. He was. Yes, there are. Our father warned us how we died in kingdom come. The Warrens feel that some of the most compelling evidence ever recorded has been videotaped by them in this Connecticut home. Fuck yes, our torts on your hat, yes. The family, whose faces are obscured to protect their identity, have been tormented by what they fear is a poltergeist. Ed attempts to communicate with the troubled spirit. One knock for yes, two for no. Are you a man? Are you a boy? The mother leans against the kitchen table, her hands in full view as Ed continues asking questions. You want the people in this house to move? One knock for yes, two for no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Who's it that you don't like the most here? Is it? Is it? Is it their father? Looks like the right table. Is it their mother? Okay. I command you to reveal your identity. Next, Ed decides to confront the poltergeist. Alone. Give me some sign. Is that you moving something? Give me some sign that you're here. What I did was use religious provocation. I have to provoke it into some type of outward manifestation. Yep. And that was my point in doing that. Yeah, I was at the right table, but it's not her doing her homework, though. Oh! On the following night, doing our homework now. reports that the poltergeist seems to be more active than ever. Yeah, there it is. Only now, its attention is focused on the family's ten-year-old daughter. The little girl is trying to do her homework, but you can see that the chair keeps sliding backwards. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. It's got that this one. shit's crazy. Now, if you watch, you can see the little girl's legs are up on the rungs of the chair. She's not pushing herself up. Yeah, see, the, the the, she has her hands off it. not tipping that chair backwards. Nobody is touching that table. The table moves of its own volition. The Warrens quickly arrange for three Whoa. priests to perform an exorcism in the home. Wow. And the disturbance ends. <laughs> so George says, oh, this shit is weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she says, is this a dang Amityville the horror? Little girls always make friends with the house ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was fucked up. House goes. It's amazing that they got all that on video too. It must have been that fucking crazy. Yeah, that. I mean, that's the kind of shit you work your whole life to find. That ghost wasn't afraid of no one, though. Yeah, <laughs> he was ready to let everyone know that um, it was pissed. Yeah, Ed and Elizabeth yeah. Warren are always involved with with the the highest quality, top notch. Yeah. Chase really says, I guess all kids are known for befriending ghosts and shit. Yeah, true. You know, it's like, you got, oh, we got a sale. We made a sale. Nice. Andrew C. There we with go. The, with Thank the drunken you. philanthropy. Um, it's like, I think little kids are just closer to, you know, they just came from another dimension, and they still got some, like, like leftover splash. Like, they're still a little wet from coming out of the other dimension, so they can still, like, see the pool. Yeah. So, and then, and then as you're a little kid, you're more open to shit and, like, yeah. you don't question shit as much. And then you start watching TV and friends and, like, people, like, do all this stuff and, like... Yeah, and then it's and all... The, then it, everything starts to, like, mold into... But nobody on TV talks about to their imaginary friends and people at school tell you not to talk to your imaginary friends. So you gotta stop doing it. Uh, so I turns out, I just watched this really bizarre alien movie based on a real conspiracy the other day. It's called the Montauk Chronicles. You should all check it out. It's still kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah, it. dude. I grew up around that shit. I'm an expert. Like, yeah, Montauk Long Island. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm from, explain, basically. Explain it's it. Like, do do a, little, uh, a little explanation. The Montauk Project? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Um, 
So, military black budget back World War II, trying to find a way to be radar invisible, allegedly accidentally transported a ship uh, from Philadelphia to, like, Australia in, like, 11 minutes or something. Um, they say it, like, teleported, and, like, when it came back, like, soldiers were all fused to back and, like, part of the ship, and everything yep. was all fucked up and wrong, and so they, you know, stopped there. Allegedly, uh, time travel and all this stuff was developed out of whatever the hell they found. Um, all this was moved to Montauk Point in Long Island, New York. They did experiments with psychics where allegedly they had chairs and these psychics would project portals and people would walk into them and travel time. And um, uh, everything was wrong. Well, the psychics allegedly... Uh, and create some kind of big monster. It's actually what uh, Stranger Things is based yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, apparently, apparently and, they, they got one, like one, uh, sp like spawned and like warped into the 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 the, the facility and like just like uh, destroyed a yeah. bunch of equipment, right? Uh huh. They had like a, like eleven stories underground that they knew about. But then, allegedly, there were, like, even more floors underneath, and no one knew what the hell was going on down there. But it was all allegedly defense budget, you know, black budget stuff. Um, so one of the psychics was... made a big monster and allegedly, like, attacked the base and everything went fucking wrong again. And But they allegedly, they had lots of, like, kids, and they kidnapped kids off the street, and they found people that were, like children that were like psychic and kind of took them and kidnapped them and you know like stranger things like 11. yeah uh sartori says yeah they would have duck kids and do tests on them chase me says i've heard that shit sounds crazy as fuck sartori says went on for like 11 years or something 11 years officially it's like, Dude, they... we break into all the buildings like the king's park psych ward no problem like all the places around that there are abandoned you couldn't get two fucking steps into camp hero without being stopped right like, you couldn't get near it. It was crazy. And, like, it just seemed like there was so much evidence. There was all these, like, when the tide gets real low, you can find spots around the Montauk Point that lead just into the mountain, and there are doors that are just cemented shut now. Wow. It's like, I, I think something went on there. And the town I grew up in specifically was next to Cold Spring Harbor Labs, and we had a big BAE systems um, installation there. And a lot of the people that worked there were the Montauk Point employees. So they, you know, they, we know that it existed, that people worked there. And our town was this weird hub where people's parents worked there. You know, right. like, so we heard all about it. I took one of the books, this guy Preston Nichols, who's, he seems completely out of his fucking mind. I don't know if you can believe him, you know? Um, eccentric as hell, to say the least. Um, and he's the dude who like wrote all these books, but he outlined some way that you could get the place turned into a park so that you could get in to investigate. And he tells you exactly what to get. And I was a citizen of Suffolk County, New York, so I did it. And they did. They turned it into a park and like, an, you know, literally before I got my letter back, it was on the news and it was opening. It was weird. Whoa. I did my participation in government, like, required project on that. And the teacher told me she was going to fail me if it didn't get turned into a park. And it did. And that's, like, the only reason I got, like, graduated. <laughs> huh. Wow. Damn. Spittle says so straight some type of ish, yeah. Elaine says, Chris, I like your teeth. My teeth? Yeah. Nice. Wow, Fungal. Hell yeah. So Zora says, yeah, that shit's cray. Here's my I teeth. think it's real. I think there's something to it. I have a gap in my teeth. So Zora says, at the end of this, dude shows you the secret tunnels in the woods, and he's paying somebody uh, someday if people have... Are you saying someday if people investigate it properly, they'll dig up so many bones from all the murders? Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's if they didn't just get thrown into an interdimensional portal. Yeah. So, like, Chase I says, don't know why you expect to find anything. Yeah, right? Yeah. Chase says, if you have a high-profile aerospace corporation like BAE Lockheed, Raytheon, etc., you know some shady shit is going on nearby. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. 
I get Lockheed Martin Instagram sponsored posts sometimes. I don't I don't understand it. Dude, I tried to put through the parking lot of BAE Systems once to get from my friend's house to the bus stop and I got surrounded by soldiers and wow. made me literally my hands up and walk backwards. It made me literally walk backwards. I wasn't wow. even allowed to turn around. Yeah. Like four steps back to the sidewalk. I was like, whoa, okay. It was the middle of the night. I didn't think, you know, like I'm waking early to get on the bus. I had to go to yeah. court. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah, weird. But just, you know. Like yeah, one of the craziest things. 6 a.m. One of the craziest things I ever saw. <clears throat> I, I told the guys about this the other day. When I was a kid, you know, I'd go camping all the time. That's like all we could afford to do because it was free camping on the, in the Mount Hood National Forest. Mount Hood uh, National Forest outside of Portland. And we'd often go camping on the other side of Mount Hood, the one you can't see from Portland, where it's even deeper. And one year we were out there, and we were camping in the spot. We ended up camping there for uh, two weeks, and all the only other living creature we saw was a bear. We didn't see any other Whoa, people the cool. whole two weeks. But one of the days when we went hiking, we were hiking like way deep out, and we were like just kind of following like an old deer trail. My grandpa was a pretty good hiker. He had like stuff. And uh, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we're in the middle of the woods. And all of a sudden, we find a paved road. Like, totally paved. Like, brand new. Out in the middle of fucking nowhere. In the in the mountains. Like, like between mountain, like, canyons. And, like, it, like, went... We were like, what the fuck? And we were like, are we... Like, my grandpa was kind of confused. He was like, are, are we, like, by a town? And we, like, started following it. And, uh... It did, like, in one way, it just ended in the woods. And then another way went straight. There was a bridge over a river straight into a rock wall. Mm. Creepy. Fucked up. What is that? Not just that. Because uh, I was a kid, I didn't really understand. They, my grandparents were really tripped out. And I didn't really know what was going on to, until years later. Well, when I was a kid, the thing that I noticed that tripped me out was that the guardrails going in, one of the guardrails... Uh, looked like, like almost like a chain or something had pulled it like inward. Whoa. Like it was bent in. Energy shit. Yeah. I, I honestly think now that it was some kind of secret uh, base out there in the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been. Had to. Yeah, yeah I can't Space program, to. man. I'm telling you. And it's like the both the ends of the, of the, it was like a T. The road was like a T. Yeah. It was like maybe like two miles long this way, maybe a mile and a half. And both ends just went into the woods, and the only thing the T went to that rock wall. I think that they teleported like vehicles huh. straight there, and they would drive it into I think that wall somehow lifts up. Yeah. Oh, I wish that I could be exposed to the truth. It was like fully paved, <clears throat> like guardrails. Like, see yeah. it. Yeah. It's that's like the X Files. Yeah, that's part of that's part of that's my curse as well. It's like like what could what truth could I be exposed to that I that I'd even like buy into, you know? Yeah. I guess yeah. like I guess like yeah. when I've taken DMT like I've I've like seen like pieces of the truth that I'm like, okay, I can vibe with that. Like I can vibe with like this shit being way crazier than yeah. than I can even think about in my right now state of mind. Right. And this is eccentric yeah. trap. So it sort of says, ha ha, Ricky, sounding like an enlightened stoner with this story. <laughs> <laughs> enlightened. Hey, man, you ever heard of Seattle 7? Uh-huh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> all 7? <laughs> that was the all 7. It's the Big Lebowski. Oh, yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. That's the joke. It's yeah, all yeah. 7, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, and more. Yeah, Nar Tapes is our name. You can subscribe on YouTube, like the video. You can tell your friends all about it. You can go to nartapes.com slash GTG, put in your sales or donations. That's how you're going to support us financially. Help us get through this fiscal year on top. Uh, yeah, so also the cool thing is uh, about the stoner hats, by the way. We only have 15 minutes left in the show, 16 minutes. Those stoner hats... Uh, those were pre-orders, but my friend told me he had, like, five or six of them, I think six, um, <clears throat> uh, still from the last order, so we're gonna be, and then I'm putting in the next 12, and that will take, like, a week or two, so the pre, the, everybody who's ordered right now, I think is actually gonna get theirs 
like like uh, I think he said he's gonna bring it by Thursday. Cool. Ooh. So everybody's Very already. Good. I think maybe there's one uh, one more. So Sartorius, if you're trying to get that stoner, I think I think let me see pre-orders right here. I think that we have one or two, one at least one, but maybe two. Uh, stoner hats still for sale, or that are that are actually here in LA right now, uh, already made at Stoner Night, Stoner Night LA's headquarters. Mm. So you might want that one. Spittle says, "Bitch, I didn't know, but uh, you can keep your weed in there." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, is that another one? Uh, Andy says, "Yo, let's see what that shit was in person doing that shit. What was that time to do that instead of buy a meat pie? Shit, is it eccentricity? Just ghosts?" Hmm. Hmm. Chase Reason, I heard of mine a week ago or something. So, so if I get that hat, I can tell you about the missing stuff. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you can you can tell you don't have to, you don't have to get the hat. Just, uh, or you can just you can also us. just email me. But if you get the hat when you order, there's a comment box. Like leave a comment. You can just say yo it's yo it's Sartorius. Here's uh, all the stuff that I'm missing, and we'll get it to you, and then some. That's right. And uh, uh, Chase says that you ordered your hat a week ago or something. Yeah. I mean, it, the the if you read it on the uh, product uh, page, it said that the pre-orders weren't shipping until early October. But you're gonna get an even order than I even anticipated. I mean, it's early October now, but I didn't even think that we're really gonna get it till like next week or the, at the earliest. So, uh, you know, it's always I'm always dealing with I'm a DIY, we're a DIY thing. Where it's only you know four people in NAR, and it's really only me, Fungal, and Isaac to handle the label. Jimmy kind of just is only really devoted to the store. Uh, and he's only here. And the band's, God and bless band. him. And yeah, he's Jimmy's doing his thing. He's doing a good job. He's a good boy. Proud of him. He's working. He's on definitely stuff. a good drummer. Great, great drummer. Um, I know we're doing this stuff, so it sometimes I know it can be you guys can't can wait sometimes, but now, you know, we're doing. Me and Isaac are fully tag team in this male thing now, uh, and you know I'm trying to pack it all. You see the stickers. You know, you go to the post office, trying to make it all work, guys. We had all, like, a more thing. So we're, and then, you know, things like getting hats made, getting tapes made. It's like, I'm always dealing with these companies that, like, <coughs> that, like, they're always like, oh, there's a delay. It's like, okay, well. But things are kind of, they're all happening, so. Uh, we're going to uh, send a, uh, a link. I see that. I Chase, have it up. Chase, we said oh. a stoner hat. Yeah, a hat for a stoner. <laughs> A stoner hat, a hat for a stoner. So Tori says, speaking of missing stuff, you guys should do an episode on missing people. Oh, yeah. There you go. Cool. We can do yeah, like uh, David, David Politis. Is, yeah, David is, Politis. Yeah. Yeah. David cool. uh, Duffy says, Sartorius agreed. Uh, Chase really says, I believe in the cause. Oh, yeah, Chase. Thank you, buddy. Duffy says, lots of good ones. I think it's the secret space program. Yeah. Mm. I definitely sometimes wonder with the David Politis shit if that's not some, some human stuff. Yeah. Yep. I think there's some some people disappearing that seem like they'd be good personnel to hire on. You know? Yeah. If you needed doctors and other weird stuff, people are like weird. They go hiking. Yeah. Walk five feet away and no one ever finds them. Well, and, and then you know, like, have you played uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? Oh, what we got? Have you played Horizon Zero Dawn? Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a video game. A video game? Uh, my audio scrambled. Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah, have you played that? No. It's no. sick. There's, there's even a mode on it where it's just story mode, so because the story's so insanely good. But it's like you're like a cool. you're like a cave person kind of, but like smart and you can talk. You like play this like badass girl and like uh it's like been a post apocalyptic thing, but that's like everybody's like tries you like slowly, slowly start finding out this story that like you're living in this, like, ruins of, like, when robots took over the world and then, like, these people wow. had to, like, basically, like, kidnap the smartest people on the planet and, like, force them to help them build this giant, like, program because the, okay. the world was definitely, the world definitely was going to end. The, the robots were going to win, but they, if they did uh -huh. this thing, they could, uh, they could uh, defeat the robots with this, like, afterwards... And then be able to rebuild life with this like computer program. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, they kidnap a bunch wow. of scientists and that too for for a good cause. But it's still crazy. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That sounds cool. I'll the check game, it out. The, the game is was really sick. The game was. I'm sorry. Is that spoilers. PS4? There. Huh? Oh yeah. 
PS4? Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. I, that was a fucking dope game. I really enjoyed playing that game. Alright, cool. uh, what is this video here, Funkle? It's, uh, uh, To Kill or Not to Kill Bigfoot, some insight. Alright. Shall we? Yep. I'm down. Against the law in Washington. Yeah. I would be like, no way. No, Don't there's kill stats him. enough kids. This informational video is entirely written from a perspective that I'm sure is shared only by a select few. In the last eight years, I've been privileged enough to learn that the species commonly referred to as Bigfoot is in fact a legitimate species living in small groups throughout North America. This comedian I saw the once. In eight years, I've cooperated with numerous great men and women who have entrusted me with their knowledge and experiences that I'd like to share with you Oh my in this god! Video. For the majority <laughs> of you that do not believe in the possibility of this species, if the day ever comes that you think you're seeing a Bigfoot and you have a weapon, uh -huh. you should not shoot at whatever you think you're seeing because you're either seeing a bear, a man, a man in a suit, a man wearing a fur coat, a tree stump, a rock, or you're hallucinating. A tree stump? And obviously, under all the aforementioned <laughs> circumstances, you should not be shooting at whatever yeah. you think. I know what a seeing. fucking tree what stump looks like. The purpose of this video is entirely to discuss whether or not you should kill a Bigfoot. From this point on, we will make the assumption that if you do ever see one, or you do in fact know they exist, or are in the position to kill one, it's my hope that I can preemptively help you understand your options. Oh, this makes me want to go to the After woods. After what I've seen over the past few yeah. years, yeah. it's very clear to me that human the beings are first down. making this discovery. Oh, yeah. A discovery that will certainly <laughs> be considered yeah, one of the greatest woods. in recorded history. I personally have been inspired by this amazing species that will certainly be classified as a great ape, which will put them this, in the same um, category as awesome chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans, and human beings. Some very important deductions nice. can be made about these primates simply knowing that to date they have successfully evaded modern science. The most important of which is their survival skills within their own ecological niche are exceptional to agree that is unmatched in recorded history. Whether those abilities fall within the realm of amazing physical yeah. attributes, including speed, strength, and size, or a set of highly developed sensory perceptions and intelligence, or more likely a combination thereof. Either way, understand clearly in your mind when you come face to face with one of these incredible primates in the wilderness, you are most certainly dealing with a species that has abilities far beyond anything mankind has ever known. Oh, that one is really funny. Even back in the days of Davy Crockett, when men and women were raised hunting and tracking, there's no arguing that the best trackers in North America by far were the First Nations people. These I people believe all it the yeah, I don't think he looks like a reverent way, like boss of the mountain or master of the woods. A highly respected elder and mentor of mine warned me many times that anyone who angers these beings will take their last breath. Based on the vast knowledge of First Nations elders I've had the privilege of learning from, as well as my own hands-on field work we've personally witnessed, these primates have abilities so incredible they're often misinterpreted as supernatural. However, their greatest strength is in their absolute devotion to one another. Clearly, based on the sightings and footprints discovered, this primate species is the only other bipedal primate that's ever existed, with the exception of human beings. Well, this species is the most man-like primate on the planet. They survive in the most remote and harsh environments without the use of fire, living in complete equilibrium with nature. For these reasons alone, they should not be hunted but admired for what they've accomplished, in spite of the ever-growing consumption of land and resources from human beings. Often people have asked me that if I indeed can get close enough to get photographs as I have done in the past, why not just shoot one? What? In spite of my deep admiration for these magnificent primates, that is a question I have explored in the past. The answer of which is, if I did fire upon one of these primates, I would not have survived. If I would have successfully infiltrated their defensive positions with a group of Navy SEALs and killed one, none of us would have made it out of their habitat alive, never mind with a dead specimen. Please allow me to explain why that is by first exploring the other option I did, in fact, Just actively disappear. pursue. At one point, it was my intention to tranquilize one. The reality of that option, as humane and reasonable as I it know, sounds, even less practical than killing one. Besides yeah, knowing nothing about these primates' metabolism so. weight, my best success at approaching a group has always been in the Rocky Mountains. Tranquilizing anything at dangerously high altitudes will most likely result in a specimen falling to its death. But one of the greatest lessons I ever learned was in exploring this question. My First Nations teacher explained to me the impossibility of this option in this statement. You're supposed what to be pretty fucking big. I don't even know if a gun would do anything. 
What yeah. will you do when the mother comes back? Chase, that's a good point. No, you will have to kill her, or she will kill you. Now, what would you do if there was not only one mother that came back to defend the cub, but the father, the uncle, the brother, the whole family came back Chase, to defend Chase, because he says, I bet you can just shoot will a big boy and walk too? away. So tell me how you will survive the circumstance when your adversary Chase, so this more intelligent like than you are. He says, they in and out of our reality. That's what I believe, too. Maintains high ground, throws boulders, and has a hundred other advantages over the great bear. You don't need to tell me. I will tell you. Anger the master of the woods, and you will oh, take yeah, your Arturus, last that works. Obviously, the outcome would be the same in the case of killing one. The truth is, all animals can understand. Jasper heard of the Ogopogo? If beings attempt to kill no. and hunt them, they will continue to avoid another um, but river if we take the time to study in, uh, and understand British Columbia, the primates, the Kootenays, the Kootenays. one day soon, oh, yeah. my species, the we talked about that on the show. Can find oh, cool, cool. Yeah, it's, it's a little talked about one, but, you know, it's like Thanks Chant to all great or people from Ernesti, past and present. Just another famous river monster. The Same thing, allegedly. That day is coming soon. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my video, and I wish you the greatest success in all of your endeavors. Cool. Oh, I like how he ended with a shot of himself. Very good. <laughs> Thank you for that uh -oh. one, Morgoth. Spittle says, yo, it's been fun. Uh, see you all next time, boys. Yeah, we got four minutes left anyway. Show's pretty much done. Duffy, uh, any last things you want to talk about before we go? We only got four minutes left. Um, well, shit, I don't know. I got some songs. Uh, I got, oh, yeah. uh... Duffy sent some music. Some yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to play I a got song? Some music. Yeah, would you rather I do live stream Suicide or some new Love Cop? Play one of the new Love Cop ones. All right, cool. Which one? Uh, my favorite is Don't Give a Fuck, DGAF, but... Hell yeah. Hell yeah, play that one. That's what I'm talking about. Got some music premiering. Cool. <laughs> this new Love Cop. New Love Cop. And also, I have I have four different Love Cop tapes, only one of each, only four total Love Cop tapes on the property. And, or, there's some on my Discobs. Discogs, actually, Discobs. Discogs. Uh, I'm hungry, that's why I want Discogs. <laughs> Uh, but uh, if you go to, uh, if you guys want some Love Cop tapes, I have some, five bucks each. And we'll, we'll probably put out a new one pretty soon. Yeah, probably gonna do a new one soon. So. Word. Yeah, it's in it. Play it up. All right, I'm doing it. Here we go. Smoke. Don't give a fuck by Love Cop. Yeah, smoke. Looks like it's track three. It will be. Do you have an album sorted out and stuff? Or we got the whole stuff? thing done. I'll I'll send it to you guys. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's taking a second for it to load. Maybe I should just download it. Just a second. It's weird, like, bandwidth and stuff. Like, it'll take you, like, like literally a second to download a four and a half megabyte MP3, but, like, for Google to, like, open it in its little player, it takes a while yeah. sometimes. It takes way longer. Still. <laughs> don't make sense, dude. Not dead. It's because they're trying to track Flipping everything you're clicking dead. on and talking about. Not dead. All right, here we go. Ripping. It's loading. Yep. Cool, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
got some other even weirder shit. This is tight. Thanks, man. I still want to get Love Cop in the studio down here. I'd love to do that. I might send uh, you guys some shit. I've been having like a bunch of the time mixing. Cool. But yeah, yeah that'd be fun. Yeah, if you send me something, I, I'll, I'll get. I, I think that'd be fun. I'm on a weird tip with the solo shit. I don't know what fucking kind of music it is, but it is weird. So I'll send you some of it. See what you think. Oh, are you already putting on that ghost video? Yeah. Is this the dust music? Yes, Love Cop. Uh, OG Narvan. Yeah, I have four different Love Cop tapes. They're all really good. I just found it. This sounds really yeah, nice. Yeah, we, uh, we got a whole tape we just finished. So if you guys want to get me up. Yeah, Oh, the belt. Oh, yeah, we took that right off the Don Cleanonati. Hail Mary. We got really into sampling for this album, too. We did a whole song. Um, we sampled uh, the SOS band. Oh, yeah. Take your time, do it right. It's like a big party song. You know? Andy C says love y'all. Good night. Love you too, buddy. Good night. Good night. Nice. That's a great song, dude. Yeah. yeah that hell rips, yeah. Dude. Thanks, man. Right. It's like a, that album we just did. It's like mainly a rock album, but we still like we did a bunch of sampling and just sounds from cool movies we like and you know. Cool. Had fun. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, Fungal's getting this uh, ghost video together. I'll play a. Uh, We'll play uh, one of your solo tracks with this video. Word. What is this video? I don't know. Something from Celebrity one of Celebrity Ghost Story? Oh, is it a story? Who? Yeah. Um, Kyle Massey. Who's that? Huh. Let's take a look. Let's see, let's, let's see this real quick, yeah. Out just says, when someone says their music is weird, it makes my balls tingle with excitement. Word. <laughs> Duffy like that. Live stream suicide is going to be the weirdest shit. That's the name of the new shit? Unless I call it Edgelord, but uh, somebody already took my name. I'm pissed. <laughs> right, so they we should, play. like, fight me for it or something. So Taurus says, it's just the kid from That's So Raven. Sick. <laughs> Oh, uh, I see. That's Kyle Massey, huh? The the little the little kid. Or... So uh, should we play this story first? It's a minute and a half. Yeah, let's just yeah. do this real All quick. Right. And then we'll play. <laughs> so we're driving up our driveway. <laughs> And there in the window is the woman. The same elderly woman that I saw in the hallway. She was in my brother's room, in his window. And my brother saw it at the exact same time I did. And he looked at me and he said, someone's in the house. We all see the ghost in the window, clear as day. But. She disappears. And as soon as she disappeared, we come around to the back of the house. The entire backyard is engulfed in flames. Engulfed in visual effects. Department. You know, they got there and you know, they put the fire out. Whoa! They came and rescued my house. Your yard is on fire. What? The fireman saved my house. <laughs> Jermaine Jackson, yep. Those, nice. Some All of right. those are scared. Of course he disappears. It's a ghost. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. That one was fun. Yeah. The whole backyard was engulfed. In, in visual effects. 
It was on fire. And then uh, when the fireman put it out, the grass was green and lean and looking great. Real sharp. All right, well, let's uh, play with the W solo track, and then we'll uh, say goodbye. Back yeah. to me by Livestream Suicide to be released soon. Word. It's going to be for an album called Love Songs for the Haters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's tight. So far, so good. It was weird. I did uh, the other one I sent you for this project. I got a, a vocoder. Nice. And that's like I I stopped for a minute, and got to play with it for a while before I went to play like, finish the rest of the album. So I'm gonna use it a lot, I think. Nice. Nice. It was really fun, man. I, I I had a lot of like vocal filtered stuff, and I have a ring modulator now too. That's also fun, but more, mostly for my guitar. But yeah, I'm getting like real weird sounds. Trying to make more of like a dance album or something, like electro rock music gets really boring. Right. Yeah. I don't want to just make another rock album. Yeah. But I mean, I like rock, it's fun. But you know, this is this is something else, so let it be something else. Screw's liking it. Sartor says, yeah, very chill, Daphne. Chase Sweetly gives it four pluses. Four pluses. Thanks. Plus, 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 plus. Uh, well, you know, I'm gonna send you a special uh, white thing watch a sunset tape, Tuffy. <laughs> There's a half an hour of me and Isaac and Uncle and Jimmy on the 4th of July a few months ago in the parking lot here talking while watching the sunset. Good. Yeah. Look at that, Tony. I'll give you some. I want to give you some shit. Yeah, dude. Ace of Bates. I like how it's like almost a pop song. Like it's like it's like straddling the line, but then like it fell like into the mirror and like is in the like alternate dimension of pop. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was trying to play with. That's the, the whole album would be some weird abstraction of pop music. Yeah, it's like it's like Savage Garden like fell into like a vat of of, of like I don't know everlasting gobstoppers and like yeah. fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, went through the looking Skinny glass. Puppy. <laughs> yeah. A lot of like industrial influence, but I'm not trying to be that dark. You know, yeah, right. a lot of it. It's got like shoes to a little bit. It's like. Yeah. I got like that um, vocal harmony pedal. Yeah. It's like I, that was like a lot of fun. Um, you're like able to get like the instant shoegaze sound. Like so live, it works really well. I, I like it. Because like on albums too, I'd, I'd sing like two parts sometimes, you know, and, like 
like at least with something like that, I can actually express that live, so that's fun. Big one. <laughs> After this, you guys should play that video of when um, that kid called Mark McGrath Sugar Day. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're already in yeah. overtime now. Uh, <laughs> after this song, uh. Call it, huh? Right on, man. Uh, Sartorius says we guys never have 15 minutes. Alright, I'll check out one, Sartorius. This song's tight, dummy. Yeah, it's kind of Thanks, thanks. What do you use to make the drums? Yeah, thanks uh, for like having me. Next time you uh, you want to do this, I'll take more than a day to put some like good stuff together and try to even uh, yeah. get it on a clock. Come know, next so episode. Long enough. Let's do UFOs yeah. next episode. Come next episode. For sure. So two weeks from today. Okay. Yeah, same time. Yeah, I'll put some shit together. Cool, perfect. Let me know what you want to do it on. Alright, fuck sake. Thanks. This one's like, just kind of like, it's it's like broken, weird pop music. It's like lyrically, it sounds like it's about somebody coming back, but it's about somebody turning their back. You know. Weird subtleties. <laughs> right. Yeah, nice, dude. Very good. Thanks. Yeah, so yeah, two weeks from today. Uh, well, thank you everybody for watching the stream. Thanks for Duffy. Duffy, yeah, two weeks from tonight, uh, we're going to have All it right. back. We're going to do UFOs next week. Cool. Yeah, let's do UFOs. Sounds good. And you can get together some new uh, some new tracks probably to to show too. Wow, I didn't realize that song's almost yeah. seven minutes long. It didn't feel like it. Hell no, yeah. it did not. Thanks, man. Nice, dude. A lot oh, yeah. of these are a little longer than I usually do. I'm, I'm trying to middle eights and all kinds of shit. I'm yeah. like... Trying to make a long album, but right. I want it to stay interesting. So, cool. anal, Hell mixing yeah. forever. Yeah, <laughs> I know that story. Anal, anal. Yep. Hmm. Well, thank you so you much. Get over it. Yeah, thank you so much, Duffy, for uh, hanging out with us. Yeah, it's been a fucking. Thanks for having show. me. This was fun. Um, and thank you guys, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you, uh, all the G the Nartaves Network viewers. We'll see you tomorrow night on Nartaves Night Live at 9 p.m. The greatest show on earth. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, I was saying how many guys we can do this time. It's tight. The greatest show on earth. Uh, last time we did what? We did uh, we did eleven last week. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot. We break the record. <laughs> yeah. Hope I not. So. <laughs> I think so. Well, all right, guys. Thank all right. you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Peace. Peace. Night. All night, right. Duffy. Thanks again. Here we go. Later. Alright, stream off? No, I'm playing the intro. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, Duffy. Cool, Duffy! Nice. Duffy killed it.